Alright, you shitty little idiots, are you ready? Are you fucking ready for this? I, uh, I also noticed how uncomfortably close we are to getting another stream of this, and that makes me very sad. Very sad. Um, welcome! Uh, we're back! We're reading- we're, this is part three, everybody! We are reading Reborn as a Vending Machine, and now I wander the dungeon! Part three! We're still not through this book! Look at how much more of this book we gotta get through! Look at that! Look at all this we gotta still get through! Um, so we're pretty much able to read four chapters today. So, uh, I'm gonna point out to you guys that today we are reading The Hunting Team, Raid, The Machine and the Girl, an altercation. Um, and I want to give you guys a slight spoiler. Um, but here, vending machine for adults. I don't know if you could read that because the camera's real blurry because this is the worst webcam. Um, that one is the one where he sells a condom. So, spoiler warning. That's the one you want to get to, everybody. We're, um... We're here, and we want to get to here if you want the smut. All right. Well, um, nothing more to do than to get into this, I guess. <laughs> anyway, welcome, everybody. Uh, welcome. Let's get into it. No fanfare today. No fucking noises. No nothing. No, no everybody, shut up. Be good. We're gonna, we're gonna fucking read. We're gonna have a good time. He hello, class. Are you ready for another chapter in your little storybook? Fucking yay, children. I know you've been waiting for another story in your little storybook. Don't fucking bonk me for this. I'm not the criminal that made this. Um, why am I in trouble? Why is this my fucking legacy? What did I say about Bingle Bangles? All right. Oh, oh Kiryu is here. Kiryu, I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're doing okay. I haven't seen you. Um. Anyway. Welcome back. No fanfare. Let's get into it. Welcome, everybody. I hope you are all ready for the continuation. If you have missed the previous streams, our wonderful... This kid got turned into a... Here's some boobies. Uh, this kid got turned into a vending machine, and he could sell anything he's gotten in life. And this girl, Lamis, with also titties, uh, boop, boop, um, also uh, carries him around because she's super strong, and he can... Um, ha he has a barrier. That's, that's it. That's the story. Listen, listen, it's not complicated. A kid, a kid is a vending machine and he's going to bang all these women. That's, that's the plot. <laughs> Let me wet my mouth and then I will continue. With part three. Let's see if we can get through more than four chapters today. All right, let's do it. Titty spoop poop. <laughs> Um, the frog fiend oh and also to catch you up they are going right now um, Boxo and Lamis are Boxo and Lamis are headed to go help with the frog fiend raid because the frog fiends are getting out of hand and they gotta go kill a bunch of them and they want Boxo to come with because he can serve hot soup he, he gives hot soup okay and everybody wants this hot soup so um Let's, let's get into it. I said no fanfare and we're already five minutes in. And I haven't done shit. Hello, Pink Search Engine Stan. I also haven't seen you in a while. Hello. Um, we're reading terrible things. Let's get into it. <clears throat> the Frog Fiend's Nest, or rather, their settlement, is about an hour north of the spot by the lake I was on. Or so I hear. That must be why they kept coming over for a look. If I had picked up the wrong bless, or if I had picked the wrong blessing at the time, there's a strong chance I might be scrap right about now. It's a good thing I didn't pick a combat ability, even though I don't think I could use one with a vending machine for a body anyway. Welcome. Thank you. Please come again. Still, business is booming, and I don't have time to think about much. I've been at full speed while giving out endless string of thanks. When noon came around, the party of hunters began to break for lunch, getting out the food they brought or using some of the many ingredients stored in our cargo. But after word from Lamis, I suddenly had a lot more customers. This pasta dish is heavenly! That's right. Out of consideration for the long trip we'd be taking, I used 1,000 points to add a new function. 
Morning and evenings are starting to get chilly, so I picked up a hot water dispensing function, and I added four types of cup ramen as well. Kitsune style, udon, soy sauce ramen, pork bone ramen, and salt ramen. Ew, salt ra Are they just eating ramen noodles with fucking salt on them? That sounds fucking gross. Thank you for the stretch and the hydrate, um, Electrify. Rick Rogue says, now I want to hear Rosie read all of my books while doing the voices. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. Crew. Crew. Okay, crew. I'm going to take a quick break here just to tell you guys something. I was at a Halloween party on Saturday. And, um, unfortunately, my friend group knows that I'm reading this to you guys. And, um, I hope you know it came up a lot that, um, that my job is literally to sit here and read vending machine smut to people I don't know on the internet. So, uh, enjoy that. Anyway. <laughs> a lineup that lets people choose whatever they like. Of course, I would- Don't fucking swear timer me already, Dan, you bitch! Did I even hit the swear timer? I did. Okay. All right. <sighs> Dan, please. I gotta try to get through this without swearing. Okay. I just hope it doesn't get horny or I'm gonna have to swear. It's just gonna happen. All right. Of course, I was dealing with ignorant people from a different world, so I chose simple items that only need hot water added to them. These had instructions on both words and pictures on the side of the containers, so Lamis and, Munam and Mumami uh, had figured out right away. After changing the cup ramen mode, the water dispensing function takes up half the vending machine. So one downside might be that there's less room for beverages. However, I can freely switch in and out of cup ramen noodle mode and go right to normal right away. Oh, I'm so glad he can switch. <laughs> salt ramen is just ramen, but the noodles are salt. It's just a bucket of salt. I now offer you wet salt water. Would you like some hot salt water? Buy, buy from my vending machine. I only have hot salt water. Today it's cloudy, and with a chill... Oh, don't do this, Sour Lad. Don't. Don't. Love it when the vending machine says it's vending time and vends all over Thesis goons. God damn it. I don't... Sour Lad, we don't want this. Uh, thank you for subbing, Sour Lad. I'm, I'm glad you got your paycheck. I can tell that you got your paycheck today. Thank you, Sour Lad. <laughs> Um, hi, Amy. What's up? Welcome to my hell. <laughs> Today it's cloudy, with the chill making things difficult. Seeing Lamis happily eating noodles um, brought on a surge of customers. As a side note, I've set it each cu cup ramen as two silver coins. Taking all the necessary measures, I've provided optional fork with the cup ramen as well. Oh, good. He knows I'm white. It's good to know that this fucking vending machine knows I'm white and I suck with chopsticks. I actually don't suck that bad with chopsticks, actually. Um, true fact, I'm actually quite decent with chopsticks. Matt, however, sucks ass. <laughs> Who's the best girl in the book? We've only really met two Wilkins. Uh, I'm going to say Lamis, probably because she talks the best. <laughs> or the most, I guess. Phew, this warms me up right to the core. I have a feeling the brown one's taste is... Wait, I feel this brown one's taste in my heart. Delicious. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Yours looks good. Let's trade bites. The hunters eat in a lively group, sharing their impressions. In a flash, they buy no fewer than 40 cups of ramen and drinks. Considering they are physically active profession, it's not strange that a lot of them eat two cups or more by themselves. Getting that the, given that they plan to travel two days out from the settlement on foot, they had pl extra, plenty extra food stored, but it seems like a basic rule that hunters eat simple, basic lunches. This combined with their curiosity over the cup ramen is what's netting me sales. I'm glad that he's fucking, at least, at least he's business. I swore. I caught myself on it. I'll narc on myself. I swore. I don't, don't you worry. Don't you worry, Dan. I caught myself. You're welcome. You get one freebie. You guys get one freebie. You will get one narc every time I read this book. You will get one free narc. <laughs> oh, man. Mm-mm. <clears throat> 
Of course, it goes without saying how wonderful the flavors are. Oh, yeah, salt. Man, I can't wait to eat the salt noodles. It's my favorite. The makers created them after much trial and error. Tasting the fulfillment of something so high quality makes me truly glad to have been a Japanese person. I love that he gives so much credit to the people that make food for vending machines as if they have a heart and are not like corporate shills just like, ah, whatever it is, put it in the vending machine. <laughs> Grace says, ah, it gives me physically fit hunters who care about their physique, junk food ramen. Uh, <laughs> Lecture 5 says, I have ice cream now. Put it in your vending machine. <laughs> At this rate, I'm going to make a huge haul during this trip. I could set the prices to sil three silver coins each, but wiping out the frog fiends take priority. So I keep the markup low in order to support the hunters. Wow, how uh, um, delightful of him. We're at the back end of the hunting team, thus removed from the actual fighting. Not that there's as much. We've heard shouts and weapons clashing from the front of the line only a few times so far. Other than that, it's extremely peaceful. Uh, Amy says, most things that don't taste well because they're slightly more edible with salt. I mean, I guess so, but, but just plain noodles with salt on them? I would rather the plain noodles, if I'm being honest. Technically, fruit is a vending machine. Can you dispense fruit? I mean, probably. I don't... We haven't got that far yet, so I'm going to guess yes. Miles says, Yes, Gordon Ramsay couldn't dream of making such high-quality salt water. Does fruit, Does the fruit rot? Well, probably, because, like, what... If he can't sell... Like, he's going to sell a condom eventually. So that tells me he's he probably dispensed used panties, and those might come out fresh. So I don't think the fruit would rot. If the, if the, if the used panties don't rot, then I don't think the fruit will rot. It's not a sentence I wanted to say, but here we are. All right. Kakashi says, so who's going to suggest reincarnated as a hot spring to the throne? Don't you dare. Can he, can he distance uh, people or drugs? Um, He can, he has to have bought it from a vending machine in his real life. So if he bought Tylenol, I assume he can dispense it. I don't know. Anyway. No one will be buying anything while they're physically on the move, so I use that time to check back over my abilities and consider how to proceed from here. My full stats on display look like this. So his full stats right now are he has 100 health, he's got 10 toughness, 0 in everything else, and he's got 3,600 points. Um, and he's got... Mineral water, milk tea, lemon tea, sports drink, which is probably fucking Gatorade, um, orange juice, corn, corn soup, canned Odin, um, just, just papapo chips. Actually, it's, it's Pringles. We know it's Pringles. Um, he's got udon kitsune style. He's got pork bone ramen. He's got soy sauce ramen and just salt ramen. I didn't swear. And he can dispense hot water. And he also has a force field. God, guys, crew. Okay, fine. Fine, I will reset it, but I will not be happy about it. There are too many things to fit on the display at once. I should probably check each item individually. I'll keep myself in cup ramen mode for as long as I'm accompanying this hunter team and have one of each beverage in the lineup. Adding that function makes my appearance change instantly, like magic. That might mean I can find a design changing and form changing functions to upgrade the list too. <gasps> Found it. Oh, wow. Freely changing my color? I can add patterns, button designs, and even electronic sign? That's a lot of customization. Oh, man, I'm so glad he found the change face feature. Changing colors doesn't seem to cost that many points, but the ones that change my form and add the sign are fairly pricey. I'll get to them once I have more to spare. Time passes quickly as I look at the different add-ons I can get. The next thing I know, it's gotten dark out. It took him 45 minutes to read this. <laughs> We're spending the night. We're spending the here. Bingle Don't bingle me. I'm reading. <laughs> Children, pipe down. We're reading. We're spending the night out here. Get to setting up camp, everyone. That astute voice is the Hunter Association's director, right? He's part of the hunting team, too, isn't he? He can be an extremely good hunter, I hear. A cut above the rest of the members present in terms of ability. 
Some groups are setting up tent. Many hunters are simply sitting in front of a fire. Are they going to make do with just sleeping rolls or blankets? I wonder what Lamis is going to do. When I look over, she's just sitting next to me with a smile on her face. Stop bingling! Hey, Trash Panda, Kakashi Lover, no bingling. You're going to sit there. You're going to behave, children, as I read you softcore vending machine porn. Gently. Ryura, stop silently bangling. I still see it. Je you think I can't see that shit happening? I can see it. Well, consensus, why is he going to do that thing where the teachers wait for the students to be quiet? Listen, you guys will get no fucking recess, okay? Do you guys want recess? Do you guys want break? You will You will behave. <laughs> you are blind. Bingle. <laughs> Oh, man. Electrify also gave me a stretch and a hydrate. Thank you again, Electrify. Electrify, the only dude out here looking out for my well-being. Damn, Kakashi lover. You gave me the same one twice in a row. I'm surprised that happened. That's that's weird. <laughs> Trash Panda says, and also bangle. I'm glad you're here, Trash Panda. How are you doing today? <laughs> you're not my mom you can't threaten us like this i demand nap time i find it funny that i got that i got a gifted sub to trash panda uh but i wasn't following them at the time well you should follow british trash panda they're fun um lord says no breaks we want the story till it's done 80 percent of the next vending machine no miles it better not be oh god okay it may look like she's spacing out but she technically used to be a hunter so that can't be true then again, I don't think she brought along any luggage at all, besides lugging me on her back. Is she going to be all right? Completely unaware of my worries, she's racking her brain over what to buy. The others will be engaging in a decisive battle tomorrow, and the dinner they made tonight is rather lavish. Most of them only buy a drink. The Odon Cup and Ramen aren't selling much, but they want to use up their food so that they'll have less to carry. I really like the skewer one. They should make that one that it only has the little eggs on it. Bingle, so don't... Bingle. Oh, God. I got a whisper and I don't Children like it. Sent via throne .me. Christ, a throne gift came in and it better not be another freaking terrible... Hold on, crew. Bingle, bingle. Oh, God. More things are happening. Tilda sent via throne .me. Oh, no. Crew, please. I said no bingling today. I'm not waving at you. I'm trying to look at my phone but not smash the camera. All right, everybody, let's go to my email and look. Let's go to my email. Hello, everybody. Uh, I've got... Oh, I got Everything is Suffering stickers from Pinecone. Wow. How fucking... How fucking in tune with everything. That's great. And also... Oh, yeah, fucking... Yeah, fuck yeah, candy corn. I love candy corn, crew. I actually really like candy corn. Um, again, for Pineco, thank you, Pineco, for both the stickers and the candy corn. That makes reading you guys softcore vending machine smut worth it. Um, also, apparently, I swore. So um, I guess I'll reset the time. Can you guys blame me? Can you really blame me for what I'm dealing with right now? Can you really blame me? Sour Lead says, how many worms do we have to spend to watch to make Wazzy watch the vending machine anime? I guess, you know what, we're probably going to watch it as a group. Dawn says, candy corn is underrated. Thank you, Dawn. Jam. Somebody's on my side. Lion says, uh, have the Chibimon stickers and Vmon pin I bought shown up? Yes, the Vmon pin did. The Chibimon stickers are not here yet. But the Vmon pin did. I posted a tweet about it. Um, you like candy corn? What about uh, corn decan? Man, corn decan is great. I lost myself. I don't know where I am. Oh, yes, there we are. She's an egg person. So Lamis is an egg person? Quail eggs are expensive. So if I offer an item with only eggs, it'll probably cost more to stock. Personally, I think stuffed tofu and daikon are irreplaceable in Odin. For dinner, she has Odin, milk tea, and kutsune-style Odin. Oh, udon, sorry. Not sure whether it's a balanced diet or not. Yeah, he's literally fucking up the ecosystem, you guys. He's taking these people who've never had processed sugar in their life and giving them so much processed sugar. They're going to... Have you ever seen a kid that's never had candy before and then they give this ki kid like a fucking Oreo and he bounces off the walls like a sociopath? That's what's going to happen. Listen, I've said it before. I am a millennial, okay? I grew up with... Uh, fucking plastics in my body okay i was born with microplastics in my body okay that's just how the world works how would you how, how would you feel if you went to a fantasy world where the microplastics aren't in your fucking body okay 
He's killing these people. He is slowly killing them. They're going to get some kind. He's introducing cancer to the ecosystem. Okay. Oh, man. <clears throat> Do you have a moment? All of a sudden, a towering giant, the director, is standing behind Lamis. I didn't notice him getting close at all. Those rumors about him being a skilled hunter must not be talk. Do you want to buy something, director? Perhaps I'll have the yellow soup later. More importantly, about tomorrow. We should arrive at their settlement in three hours from here. We're in a clearing surrounded by trees right now. Ideal for setting up a camp without letting any light leak out. The enemy will likely not find us here. So that's why they made a fire. I was concerned, but since we're close to the enemy base, the fire uh, is not is really visible. But now I get it. Which brings me to my question. I'd like you to choose whether to wait here or head to the battlefield with us. If you stay here, you could uh, be set upon by frog fiends or stragglers or other monsters. We'll leave the, your escort with you. Uh, but I can't say for sure you'll be safe. Going from the Frog Fiend's home would definitely involve us in battle, but having 30 hunters with us is argu arguably more of a relief. The group consisted of many veterans, too, and I have to adva advance information that if things go really go wrong, they'll still win. And to be honest, I don't know how strong the other monsters are, so I can't decide which is the right choice. <laughs> yummy, yummy plastic. <laughs> They're going to explode it into pure sugar and plastic. I wonder if there's going to be a war arc where everyone fights the machine. Anime girl is try tired uh, but about to lose. Vending machine, how about a Red Bull? <laughs> Reaver says, there should be a beach episode where the vending machine falls into the ocean and get wet and dies. <laughs> Oh man, guys, I don't want to, man, I don't want a vending, I don't, I don't want the vending machine anime and I'm going to have to, we're going to have to watch it when it comes out. We're going to have to, I'm sorry. This is going to be my, th okay, as a streamer, you're always known for something. It's just, you get to be known as something. Like everybody's always going to be like, oh, Toxic here. And then they'll like say something that they know. They, it used to be, oh, Toxic here, the court questions person. Now it's going to be, oh, Toxic here. You mean the. Mysterious King Phoenix, please. Clown. Please, 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 Mysterious Phoenix, I love you. You know I love you. You know I love you. No, no, not today. No subs today, please. Um. <laughs> I'm going to be known as the, as, as the dude. They'll be like, Toxic here. It won't be, oh, you're the quirk questions person anymore. It's going to be Wazzy. You're the one who read the vending machine, smut, right? I'll be like at a convention, like talking to people and I'll be like, hey, what's up? How's it going? I'm Wazzy. And they'll be like, Wazzy, you mean like Wazzy Toxic here? The one who read the entirety of the smut live on Twitch? And I'll have to be like, No. I'm going to have to lie. I'm going to have to go in a witness protection program. Is there a witness protection program for Twitch streamers who have to read vending machine smut? Is that a thing? I hope that's a thing because I need that. <laughs> Grace says, wait, I can't wait till someone gets addicted to re eating wrappers. Electrify says, Wazzy, if you ever feel awful reading this, remember someone probably took months writing this and it took multiple months to review it and then people to publish it. And then, and then somebody had to translate this. Somebody had to trance like this. Don't fucking biggle bangle me. <laughs> Wait, you go to conventions? Which conventions do you go to? Um, not as a guest or anything. I just go to conventions. I'm not cool enough to be a guest or anything, guys. I'm not that cool. I'm not that cool. I'm sitting here reading vending machine smut. Okay? You think I'm that cool that I get invited to conventions? No, I just roll. I just go to the convention myself. <laughs> Oh, man. Once he went from the Ipso Faxo person to the Quirk Questions person to finally the vending machine smut reader person. <laughs> As apparently there was a swear. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Isn't that just making a new Twitch account? That's true. I hope you guys all get ready for, for the next... Knock, knock, for fucker. Acid Remedy. Are you... Re Jimmy. Jimmy, are you really doing this right now, Jimmy? Jimmy, let me level with you. I bet you're probably on an ad right now and you can't even hear me. I'm sorry about the ads, Jimmy. But Jimmy, I got to level with you, my bro, my dude, my guy, my uh, non-binary guy. Jimmy, you, you rolled in here. You're looking on twitch.tv.com and you're like, man, I could really use some entertainment right now. And Jimmy, you came over here and you looked at us, Jimmy, and you said, yeah, that's what I want. 
I want I want a VTuber who's going to read me vending machine smut. Is that what you wanted, Jimmy? Is this what you thought your life was going to be, Jimmy? I know you're probably still on an ad right now, Jimmy, because Twitch is a hell site. And it, it loves giving ads. But, Jimmy, I want you to know, I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you're like, I can't wait to hear a, somebody read me, read me vending machine smut. Jimmy, we're all judging you. We love you. We love you, Jimmy. But how dare you? How, how dare you, Jimmy? <laughs> Jimmy says, hey, hey, I'm desperate right now. Um, um, okay. Do not question my degeneracy because my internet is off. So I'm using mobile data. That's even worse. Jimmy, you realize how that's worse that you're using your fucking internet data? You're using your fucking phone. You're like using your phone. You're, you're paying. You are paying for the premium to listen to this, Jimmy. That makes it fucking worse. Jimmy. Jimmy, you're making it worse. Jimmy. Jimmy, you're making it worse for yourself. I can't even get mad right now because I'm not clicked on the right window. Jimmy, you're making it fucking worse for yourself. <laughs> Jimmy, I don't listen. I know I swore. I'm aware of the swearing. I will reset the timer. I'm just saying. Stop narking on me, crew. For a, b, Jimmy, please, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, my boy, Jimmy. Jimmy. Um, Jimmy is a Chad. Jimmy is such a fun name to yell. It is. It is. Trash Panda, stop bingling over there. I see it. I might, might not hear it, but I see it happening. Anyway, let's continue. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Oh, jeez. Hmm. Well, I'm still a hunter, so I could head into the battlefield, but I'm sure Boxo doesn't want to be wrapped up in the fighting. That's troubling. How do I answer? I can't feel pain, and I know from experience I could shrug off a few hits. Even if I get hurt, I can restore myself with points. I don't practically mind, but it depends on what Lamis wants to do. From the looks of her, she's not scared. In fact, she looks like she's raring to go. That makes my answer easy. Too bad. Wait, you want to join the battle? Welcome. Oh, okay. Got it. Director, we'll be taking part two. I'll protect her for sure. I don't have arms or legs, but I have my force field, so I should be able to defend her. She was my first customer when I came to this world. My first friend. And I'll use as many points as I need if it means I can help her. I have to do my best to sell as much product as I can. Come, ye hunters, and become thralls of my product. Don't give some... Damn it, Jimmy! <laughs> Uh, thank you, Ryuber, for gift subbing to Jimmy. But here he's fucking <laughs> come, ye hunters. He literally just calls it out. C come, ye hunters, and become thralls to my product. He is literally, he is literally going to give them microplastics into their body and get them all hyped up on sugar. What a fucking monster. Anyway, let me catch up on chat. Uh, <laughs> Grace says, Jimmy is such a fun name to, to yell. Electrify says, Noxious Restore is not available on purpose. Oh, I just didn't turn it on accidentally. That was an accident. I could turn it on for you if you want. I could just roll up and down in, in the chat window. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I was having fun. Um, Jimmy says, I don't care. I'm babysitting my baby sister, and she's busy watching um, Coco Melon with a Sailor Moon plushie. Oh, that sounds adorable. Uh, DVD says, Wazzy well, sounds like a mom who has seen his son go to danger. It's not as fun to yell, Jason. Listen, whenever I hear the, the name Jason, all I can think is, Hey, Jason, nice cock. Lion Tamer says, Wazzy, well, you must call uh, Jimmy Jimbo. Like Jimmy Neutron's dad calls him that. I'm not going to call Jimmy Jimbo. I have more respect for Jimmy than that. Actually, I don't have respect for Jimmy because Jimmy was like, I'm going to listen to a VTuber read softcore vending machine porn. Uh, <laughs> uh, Reaver says, Jimmy, you are one of us now. <laughs> also, it, Icy gave me a stretch and a hydrate, so thank you. It says, how can a vending machine fight? I uh, he can't. He can he has a barrier though, for some reason. Amy says he gets them addicted and then they come back to him. <laughs> He's putting cocaine in it. He's putting cocaine in it. Rhett says, maybe microplastics didn't exist in a fantasy world. Yeah, but he's selling them non-fantasy world products. British Trash Panda says, I was thinking more of Heavy Rain. 
Oh, that's right. But what's that kid's name, Jason? I can't remember. I can't remember Heavy Rain that much. Oh, well. Okay. Getting back to it. Let's do it. <clears throat> as the sun begins to rise, the hunters stir as well. Lamis ends up sleeping against me. My heat retention function seems to affect my surroundings. And surprisingly, she sipped soundly with nary a shiver all through the night. It's cooled down quite a bit since yesterday, but now the Odin and warm beverages are selling like hotcakes. Making 1,000 points in a single day is, a, is stunning in a good way. This morning, once again, there's a line in front of me for the warm items. I should probably increase the number of cup ramen and corn soups I have on hand. Also, I gotta allow some things. There we go. <laughs> I keep expecting a normal steams, but it never comes. Listen, it's true. I'm sorry. Normal stream with the was? No way. Cruising through the Twitch page and I see a VTuber reading porn. All right. <laughs> um... Issa says, it's a printed book. I just realized that. Why? Yeah, it's printed. And there's also illustrations. Would you like to see the boobies? Would it make you feel better if I showed you questionably aged teenage boobies? Anywhere from the age 17 to 21 boobies. Does that make you feel better? Is, is, is it, is, does, it make you, does that make you feel better? <laughs> uh, Miles says, wait, can't people's bodies just naturally handle the plastics? I don't know. Miles, I don't... I, I, do I look like a fucking biologist? Would I be reading smut on twitch.tv.com if I was a fucking biologist? <laughs> Wait, who printed this? Um, Yenon. It says, Yenon made it. It was $18.50 Canadian, but luckily um, Roy bought this for me, so I didn't spend a dollar on it. <laughs> Um, Jimmy says, also the reason I followed you is because of the animated My Hero Academia videos you made, making questions about their quirks and stuff. Well, thank you, Jimmy. We're just not doing that today. I used to be known as the quirk questions person. Now I'm the reading this terrible thing person. <laughs> yeah, the supply has to be restocked. That's why using supply like that, there's no limit. Wazzy, well, I really like you, but you have to keep leaving your streams because of stuff like this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Isa. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. <clears throat> as for slaying the frog fiends, I feel as though we could wait a bit until they go into hibernation. Even after taking the noticeable differences into consideration, as long as they are kept that key property with the frogs from my world, wanting to waiting to make sure uh, the raid is a lot easier. Well, if my guess is correct, I have no way of communicating that. Listen up, everyone. Now that we've finished breakfast, we're going to attack the enemy's headquarters. Do everything as we planned. In terms of combat power, we should achieve total victory, but do not let your guards down. That is all. I feel an odd persu persuasiveness and sense of relief from the director's words. They seem to assure everything will be all right. It looks up to the tents and cooking utensils are all cleaned up. Lamis hoists me onto her back as always, and we set off. Traveling with the allies to fight monsters. Thinking of it uh, makes it sound like a commonplace other other world fantasy story. But I'm a vending machine, so I can move by myself. It can't be helped. Acquiring another blessing aside from force field to gain abilities seems like the fastest route to actually being able to do something on my own. But I have the least exp... Uh, ex uh, but even the least expensive of those blessing abilities can cost one million points. Ah, the skies are clear and blue. Existing only as something that gets carried around by a cute girl makes me, as a man, start to wonder about things. But I'll get depressed if I think about that. So I won't. <laughs> it's just like, man, this depresses me, so I'm just gonna avoid that. Also, we now have confirmed that he, the vending machine is a boy. I was unsure of that before. I thought maybe. All right. Anyway. <laughs> hey, can you make a video about this? Uh, Red, I don't want to. Jimmy says, I found my moan stick. Jimmy. Jimmy. P 
please. Please. As most boys your age, you'll finally find your moan stick. Um, and you know what? We get it. There's anime girls with boobies. And you might want to play with your moan stick. But can you not do it live on my stream? Can you do me one cool, cool boy solid favor for me? Don't play with your moan stick on my stream. While I'm live, please. Thanks, Jimmy. We would really appreciate that. <laughs> me and the rest of the crew would greatly appreciate that. Welcome to the crew, by the way. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Dr. Turtle says, Boxo is a male? Yes. Ms. Small says, why am I listening to this? I'm playing realistic FPS and it takes in place in the Middle East and I'm listening to this. <laughs> Electra Fry says, so, small question. How old was the vending machine before he became a vending machine? I don't know. I don't. I, it never says that. It just says he tried to catch a vending machine that fell off a truck and he died, okay? I don't know how old he was. <laughs> Also, Labyrinths is here. What's up? What's up, Labyrinths? Jimmy says, I meant grown stick. <laughs> Small says, of course, the vending machine is a guy. What's it going to do? Impregnate a girl? <laughs> I don't know. He can shoot Mountain Dews out of his... What would you call that? Compartment hole? <laughs> Welcome to the birds in the vending machines with Wazzy. Thank you. I'm going to drink a little. I'm not drinking alcohol, which is unfortunate. That's the important... I feel I should have a fireplace behind me. Gather round, children, as I read you a story from the days of old. Oh, boy. How long is this chapter? Not very bad. Oh, but we got a picture coming up. Crew, we got a picture coming up soon. Okay, let's get to it. <clears throat> We've apparently gotten fairly close to where the frog people live, and I can feel the air around us shifting, even though I'm a machine. Water droplets are sticking to my body. It seems terribly human. I wonder if I'll... S humid. Sorry. I wonder if I'll start rusting. I was wondering, are your streams 18 plus? Ah, there's a gray kind of area. It's a gray... It's a gray kind of area. We don't really... Eh. Eh. I swear a lot, but like... If you can watch my YouTube videos, you can watch my YouTube streams. I mean, I'm not out here in a hot tub. I can put one on screen if you guys want. If that guys makes you feel better, I can. I can. I can put on the Mega Milk shirt. Does that help you? Does that Does that set the mood for you? That's That's the best. I, that's the best I got. <laughs> um, all right, let's do it. The ground under us seems to be dirt and mud, making it hard to walk. Lamis is buried up to her knees because I'm too heavy. I wonder if she's all right. Get him! Valent shouts of the frog people's cries are coming up. Are going up all over. The leaders of the hunting must have gone into battle. I think they're at a disadvantage because of the bad footing, but I'm sure they're already aware of the situation. They foresaw victory despite that, so it's presumptuous that an amateur like me sh should have to worry. I only pray for my customer's safety. I think I hear the sounds of feet splashing through the mud getting closer. The faces of escorts taking up positions surrounding the boar cart have become serious. Box, so we think the enemy's here. Let's do our best. Lemus no knows I'm no use to her in battle, but she said our best. As a man, I have to rise to that kind of expectation, though I don't think vending machines have genders. As a ma do, uh, males, male identifying crew members. Do, do, do you have to rise? Do you have to rise to any kind of expectation? Do you feel that if a if a if if somebody with boobs looks at you and says, "Let's do our best," do you feel you have to do your best? I mean, I know if somebody like with nice boobs said to me, let's do our best, I would be like, yeah. All right. <laughs> Wazzy, when did you start doing YouTube streams? I didn't. I don't do YouTube streams. I don't like streaming on YouTube. It's hell there. <laughs> Lord Potter says, we have no dinkies here. Totally age appropriate. Yeah, totally. Never draw a dinky only once. 
Reaver says, one day Wazzy's going to show up as her PNG self, but in a hot tub. I've done that, actually. We had a hot tub stream, and it was the PNG, and I have a hot tub. Um, It's one of these buttons. Oh, it's not that. That's the zoom in button. Uh, I'm not going to deal with it right now. That's not my problem, but... <laughs> So he says, no, I just try the bare minimum. Um, Dan says, I only try. <laughs> Jimmy, I just try. Smalley says, yes, what was the question? Uh, Kakashi says, I do not identify as male, but I identify as a male. But if I was a male, uh, that bee would die. I will leave you there and, as you, and use you as a meat shield. Amy says, whenever anyone says, let's do it, I'm all in. Sarlette says, eh, it depends. Might go home and sleep. <laughs> Grace says, an attempt to uh, be pathetically made? Yes. Um, DVD Wing says, I don't know how to respond to that. King says, swear time is over. Oh, swear time's over. Fuck yeah. All right. Um, Miles says, I will always rise to the occasion. Anything for boobs. Reaver says, why am I not surprised? Small says, also that wallpaper is not helping. You're right. You're so right. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, if you can watch my YouTube videos, you can watch my YouTube stream. So it's calling your misspeak. Oh, I see. That's fair. Grace says, Wazzy, can we get a PNG trapped in a vending machine? You know what, Graves? I'll do that. <laughs> um, Nocturnal says, hey, Wazzy, uh, said we should try our best. That we should have someone to um, I care about rather than having tits. <laughs> So it says, also, they say that you may or may not be fine in the shallow river. Also, Ryu gave me a swear timer because they suck. Just be thankful I don't spend it on more book reading. Issa says, okay, before I leave again, whose idea was this? Um, It was King's idea. King told us about it. Roy Johnson bought the first book. And then Gears and Pinecone bought me the other two books. So um, I've got all three books now. And we're only on book one. Just letting you all know that. That, unfortunately, that's the truth. Okay. Let's... Let's get back into it. Let's let's do it. She seems to want to fight without putting me down first. Since carrying all this weight doesn't bother her in the slightest, she should be fine in theory. But if she made the decision already, then I only have one answer to give her. Welcome, I reply, keeping the volume as low as possible. You focus what's on in front of you, and I'll watch your back. I could stop any attack they throw at me. Oh, and there's the enemy. A decent number of frog people are running at us, I think. I'm on Lamis's back, so I'm facing the other way, and I could only judge by sound. Wait, one just appeared to the side that I can actually see. Its webbed feet must have allowed it to skim across the mud without sinking into it. Lamis turns and readies herself for the enemy approaching from the side. So now I can see the one standing on our way in my peripheral vision. Where is he seeing out of? Where is he? Where is his eyes? Anyway, do you even have eyes to have peripheral vision? I'm just asking. All right. <laughs> we get a bonus depending on how many we kill. Ah, we get a bonus to how many we kill, so put your backs into it. Attack! Let's do this! Following the leader Carol's commands, arrows, throwing knives, and hand axes begin flying at the frog people approaching from ahead. Wow, these folks seem... Si wow, these folks seem fairly skilled. Wow. Almost all of them land their shots, nailing the frog people. Half their targets are already down. The enemy can't even get close. Water, form vortex and pierce. That must be the lady magician's clothes who kept um, calling Carol happen, Captain. She thrusts her staff out and is thrown forward from the momentum. Water bl blasts out like a hose. The stream, ignoring gravity, flies parallel to the ground. On closer examination, its leading tip is sharpened like a drill. They're going to pierce the heavens. Despite being made of water, the steam shoots straight at the frog person's head and skewers the second one behind it. That must be magic, huh? I wonder if I could use magic like that if I'd gotten it as my blessing. It makes me wonder, uh, it, what, would it make, what would it make me a fighting vending machine? Not a terrible future. But wait, my magic stat is zero. Mm, I don't think that'll work. <laughs> There's probably five chapters of the Mega Smile, more smut. 
Due, due to unfortunate events, Wasi is gone. Issa says, King, I have so many words for you. Not even more disgusting than this stream would allow me to spit at you. Jimmy says, all right, what did I miss? I was sending an email to my teacher. Nothing good. Issa says, I think it's time for a political assassination. Miles says, are these the same frogs from before? Yes, it's the same frogs that attacked him the first time. Grace says, I think the vending machines have a uh, camera for security. Ryu says, it does have eyes. They are right behind you, uh, near the top of the vending machine. I don't like that, though. I don't like that version of Box. So I'm trying to look at it as a VTuber, but it's, there we go. Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> all right. <clears throat> My carefree train of thought underlies how easily we're winning. My vision shakes hard, probably because Lamis was fighting. But it's really inconvenient to not be able to see behind me. She might as well have carried me facing the same direction. She's always grumbling about not being able to land her attacks much, likely due to how low her dexterity is. Is she doing better now? I'm worried, but I'm not hearing anything bad. And no, and none of the escorts are looking our way or panicked or running to our aid. So Lamis must not be in a bad position. Hmm, I just realized this. She didn't bring a weapon with her. She has rather large gov gloves on her hand, but what could be, but what could they be for? They're for punching. All right, I've managed. All right, I've managed to get him, Boxo. I was trying to move as little as possible so I wouldn't shake you, and my attacks are hitting more. It's a cinch. I hear Lamis's gleeful voice behind me. She turns around halfway and sets herself. Uh, up to take on a new enemy. Since my field of vision has moved, I get my wish. I can now see the enemy she was fighting before. Oh, wow. I've never seen a dent that big in a face before. Oh, God. <laughs> the frog person's corpse is lying atop the mud, its face so misshapen, you'd think it was bashed in by a giant hammer. That must be what happens when you get punched by her might. I see. If you really think about it, it's not that surprising. She carries me around so easily, she has to have the endurance and leg strength to keep it up without so much as a grimace. It makes perfect sense that she could deliver blows without much force. As I mentioned earlier, I'm currently on her back. That's facing to act with subtlety and refrain from making any unnecessary movements, which is doing wonders for her efficiency. Combing her raw strength with calculated movements and precise strikes makes her a force to be reckoned with. I'm pleased beyond words that I'm indirectly helping Lamis like this. It looked like we would, we'd be able to finish off the frog people in a bit. But ten more have shown up as reinforcements. They said we wouldn't see much fighting since we're in the rear. Isn't that strange? That's right, crew. Don't go fighting in your rears. <laughs> also, piss staff. And vending machine magic. So there are car vending machines. Can he spit out a car? No, because he has to have actually bought it from a vending machine to have access to it. From what I understand. Jimmy says, I don't know. It's like saying ones in Japan aren't advanced enough to the point where they could just shoot out plates. King says, you can't hurt me. I have the power of peanut butter on my side. Miles says, vending machine uh, catchphrase. One with a winner just obliterates frogs. Also, goodbye, Rhett. Thanks for stopping by for my... Crimes against humanity. Mom, if you're seeing this, I'm sorry. I'm I'm real sorry, Mom. I'm I'm real sorry. <laughs> Amy says, uh, I also need to go see it. It's a shame that I can't see the rest of the smut stream. Don't worry, it'll be on the it'll be on the VODs. Don't you worry. The VOD channel keeps all my sins in uh, in plain sight because nothing disappears on the internet. All right. <clears throat> it's not natural for so many of them to be here. If the front lines are seeing even more of them, then this is getting suspicious. I hear Captain Carriel muttering, his voice uneasy. The situation is really abnormal. Everyone, form up. Get too far out and they'll cut your legs out from under you. Yes, Captain. The hunters and our escort make a f circle fi formation around the boar cart. It's the right choice, since even more frog people pop out of the mud to surround us. By a quick estimate, I see 30 of them. Will each of us have to take on five? Isn't that pretty bad? Captain, I think it's a little too much. 
Save your whining. We'll abandon the bar card if we need to. That's our motto. Life comes first. Never heard that before. Car uh, Carol and the blue-haired uh, Philomena are making small talk, but their faces are entirely deadpan. Does that show how tense the situation is? If Lamis really is in danger, I'd want her to run away and leave me behind if she needs to. But she goes up and stands next to a hunter wielding a bow. Does she plan on full-on close quarters combat? I'll do something about the ones that get through. Thanks, that's a big help. I can't see the person since they're wearing a hood, but this ranger hunter sounds like it must be a girl. Wait, I only realized how many female hunters are in our escort. They were calling Carol their captain, which means they all work for him. Of the six, three are female. Is their team a harem? Huh, I'm going to call Carol subtle from now on. Really? He's getting attacked by frog monsters and he's thinking about some other dude's harem? He's sitting here fucking worried about the harem of some other dude while he's getting attacked by like 30 fucking frog monsters? I know when I'm being attacked by 30 fucking frog monsters, my main concern is how much pussy the guy next to me is getting. Smalley says, I'm listening to a vending machine sm well, sniping people with a World War II bolt action rifle. Why am I here? Because, um... We all got to pay for our sins, everybody. All got to pay for our sins. They don't call they don't call Subtle their captain for nothing. He handles his two short swords with amazing skill, quickly building up a pile of frog corpses. Filmi Filmina is skillfully using her water to prevent enemies from approach approaching. The others, too, all seem fairly adept, forcing the frog people back. The issue is the archer Lamis is covering. She's pretty proficient in her own right, but she doesn't seem like she's skilled at loose, loosing arrows rapidly. She takes her time between shots, and several of the enemies have gotten through. Lamis steps in to cover her. She's managing to deal with the frog people now. She seems to have figured out their movements from before, and one-on-one, -on -one, she should easily crush them. But taking on two at once seems difficult for her. Another comes behind her, sticks out its long tongue, and licks its own eyeballs. Is it provoking her? Now in her blind spot, it raises an axe, then tries to hit me with it. I can withstand the damage without doing anything, so I purposely take the strike without putting up my force field. Four damage. Durability decreased by four. Grace says, I'm doing this while uh, doing work emails. It's the best. Great. Did you get that fucking promotion I told you you should ask your boss's boss's boss for? Uh, Reaver says, I don't think you were set that timer even once. Hooray, you beat Swearder. I did it. Fuck yeah. I'm the best streamer in the world. Fuck you. Fuck you, everybody. I'm the best streamer in the world. I could actually flip you guys off. I was ready to do it here, but I guess I can do it here. Wait, do I have a flip off motion? No, I just have glasses. Mm. Damn. Okay. Um, my la my hat came off. There we go. Does the sunglasses take off my hat? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, that must have been my own mistake. Let me put the worm back on. All right, I'm sorry. <clears throat> With the body rattling impact, letters appear. It's the damage display I haven't seen in a while. Axes seem to have high power, but I have plenty of points left. I'll take another dozen, please. Wait, one's behind me? Sorry, Boxo. Are you okay? I hear a flustered voice. You don't have to panic like that, you know. No need to worry. I'm actually happy I took the hit in your place. Welcome. I'm really, really sorry. Stop worrying and focus on what's in front of you, is what I want to say. Annoyingly, I can't. My efforts will have been for nothing if she gets distracted by me and loses focus in the battle. I can't see what's happening over there, but I feel through the shaking that she's upset. She's so impatient, I can feel it. This isn't a good... This isn't going in a good direction. Eek! The archer seems to fail to dodge an attack. I see her fall out of the corner of my vision. A frog holding up a spear jumps above her, aiming to impale her. No! When Lamis sees this, she jumps in without thinking. She gets on top of her protector. And, well, I'm perfectly in between them now. Ack! That spear with the frog's weight behind it is closing in. Time to activate my force field. Why does he have Alzheimer's disease? Good. You know what, Smalley? I wish I had that reading this. Jimmy says, I pooped my sister's nose. Now she pretends to die. Uh, DVD says, weird you don't have a 
flip-off emotion. You think I would, right? You'd think out of everybody that would have one, you'd think it'd be me. Um, a pale blue light spreads out around me, repelling the spear's tip and a hair away from my body and sends the frog person flying as well. Don't bog me for this shit, BMC. How fucking dare you? I'm, I'm reading. I'm reading to you children like a good teacher. <laughs> Wait, what was that light? Was that you? N no. The archer shakes her head, confirming her response. I can just barely see out of the corner of my vision. Ah, this is a pain in the butt. Why can't I see further? Should there be a function that'll let me do that? It's so inconvenient that despite the situation, I skim the list of functions. There it is. Omnidirectional vision. A thousand points isn't cheap, but beggars can't be choosers. I acquire it without hesitation. I'm sorry. He's in the middle... He's in the middle of a fucking war zone, and these are his two... I'm mad. I'm going on a rant. He's in the middle of a fucking war zone. There's so many people around him that, like, frog people are fucking killing his team, okay? Frog people are fucking killing his team. And do you know what his two things are? He's like, hey, I gotta look in my list of abilities to see if I have omnidirectional vision for A, which is fucking stupid. B, um... He's also worried about the harem numbers of another dude. These are his two things. People are fucking dying and he's worried about how much, how many, how big some other dude's harem is and also seeing all directions. Also, I want to point out, this is a thing that really pisses me off in, in anime and stories and especially like, um certain things. When the, when the main character is too powerful. This is why I hate Sword Art Online. One of the many reasons, actually. I hate... Whoa, my VTuber just spasm there. I'm sorry. I hate this. I hate when your protagonist just instantly has the powers it needs. I want your protagonist to struggle. I want your protagonist to struggle and grow and learn. I don't want your protagonist to just be like, Oh, I can't see everywhere. Oh, that's right. I have the power of seeing everywhere. That's fucking stupid. It pisses me off. <laughs> oh, it makes me so mad. Ugh. Anyway. Let's continue. Oh, my vision is suddenly expanding. I feel sick. I'm happy that I can see in every direction, but it's going to be tough to, until I get used to this. Then who made this wall of light? Get one free with a winner. I try to imply it was me. I don't want to brag, but they, they'll have trouble moving if they don't know who did it. Wait, Box, so you're doing this? Welcome. Wow, okay. Thanks, Boxo. Believing me so re readily is one of Lamis's good traits. A metal box that can have the ability like this can communicate its intent. An absurd idea. Normally, no one would believe me. Can man just be a vending machine, a Glock? Uh, they're going to have overload of microplastics anyway. That's true, I guess. Then will you do that for us if we're in danger? Welcome. I turn up the volume and give a clear answer. I also have hiccups now. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. I'm trying not to hiccup directly in your ears. Please stop putting it to the fourth vending machine library and I don't want to do it. Now she knows I have the ability to protect her. This is where the hard part starts. Let's work together to wipe out the frogs. And we're going on to the machine and the girl. Let's do it. Not even, we're not even reading stuff. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Boxo, if they come from behind me, let me know. Welcome. Get one free with a winner. So if you, so if you say get one free with a winner, that means an enemy is right here. Right? Welcome. I feel like our com communication is smoothing out. A big part of how sharp Lemus is. But I'm starting to feel like we're understanding each other without talking. I still can't believe she's really a dropout. I've been watching each of her punches and kicks in detail. And now that I can see her move. And despite not being able to pull her elbow back very far since I'm in the way um, on her back. She hasn't bumped my vending machine body once. 
Her foot movements are slow and shuffling, but when she evades enemy attacks, she does so in the least movement possible while getting in as close as she can. Despite her cramped motions, I haven't had a single, um, I haven't been hit a single time. I don't know much about martial arts, but she's got a warrior edge to her techniques and foot movements. Ah, this is it. Yeah, this is how I'm supposed to move. All those days, a uh, master had to train me with a rock on my back. I've been through hell, but it's finally paying off. There she is. Look at her in all her glory, everybody. This is why I set up the webcam so you can see the art. Wow, it's Lamis. Wow, she's attacking things. A booty. Wow, Lamis. Yay. Jimmy says, wait, uh, is this before Sword Art Online became a thing or after? Because the vending machine hentai was before Sword Art Online, then I'm going to laugh. Uh, no, Sword Art Online came first, luckily. This is new. This was published. When were you published? Tell me your secrets book. Book, tell me when you were published. 2018. 2018, this uh, first, first Yen On edition was April 2018, everybody. It's a work of fiction. Names, characters, and places and incidents are the product of the author's imagination or are used... Um, Fictitiously, any resemblance to actual events, locales, or persons living or dead is coincidental. Says, uh, says the disclaimer I didn't read before we got into it. <laughs> Lord Potter says, I think the vending uh, thing is really decent. I think it's... Lord Potter, I hate this. <laughs> All right. Oh. I think I missed stuff. Oh, I did. I hadn't even started reading this page. That's what happened. I didn't even start reading this page. That's why I was lost. Anyway. Master, did Lamis get pretty strong after a harsh combat training? Or she just couldn't pull herself to her full potential? Is carrying me jogging her memory to similar training experience, which helped her move with the extra weight? That interpretation seems too convenient to be true. In any case, seeing her like this puts my mind at ease. But I don't get how this setup... Um, this is set up so that she's stronger while carrying a vending machine. The usual way of things is to wear weights all the time. Then you take them off to give yourself a boost in abilities. Whoa, that's some nice stuff. That brute force and the way you slip past attacks. Both amazing. Oh, come on. You're making me blush. Please leave getting embarrassed over Captain Subtle's praise for later. I know you're happy because you're not used to compliments, but we're in the middle of a battlefield. You can feel pleased with yourself later. Later, please just focus on this battle. I'm getting worried just wa watching. Really? Now, he, now he's like, hey, you gotta focus on battle. Well, literally uh, two pages ago, this bitch was like, damn, that man's got a lot of women in his harem. Damn. Well, people are getting stabbed. And now he's like, hey, fucking pay attention to the battle. You shouldn't be getting chill. You shouldn't be blushing about men. This is a battle zone. Meanwhile, he's counting other dudes' women. Man. Also, Curbs is here. What's up, Curbs? We're talking about vending machine? Oh, yeah, we are reading. Reborn is a vending machine, and now I wander the dungeon. Um, It's a terrible time for mostly me. <laughs> this damn dialogue, I know. I'm not even that good of a reader. I don't know why we decided this is what I should do. But here we are. And there's an enemy coming. Get one free with a winner. <gasps> not you too, Boxo. You're all too much. What was that communication before even for? You forgot all about the conversation we just had. Yeah, whatever. Force field. I stopped two frog people from coming up behind me right away uh, before they touched me. That was close. I got away by the skin of my metaphorical teeth. What's with this blue light? It's blocking their attacks and not letting them through. I've never heard or seen anything like this. Is it your blessing? Is force field a rarity? Captain Subtle is mumbling to himself, poking at the field with his finger and weapons. You too, if you're in combat, but you're so relaxed. Oh, a frog person jumped up behind him, and he cut it down without even turning around. He's no weakling. Nope, this is Boxo's power. Or, sorry. Nope, this is Boxo's power. 
Ack, Lamis, I'd rather you kept it a secret from him. But whatever, her innocence and never doubting anyone are part of her charm. A grin appears on Subtle's lips. There's now a scheming face. He might actually steal me. He reached up on top of... He's reached the top of my suspicious person's list. I'd love to get to know Boxo better. Yep, you two get along now. If not for the wretched frog corpse lying about, this would seem like a panel out of a slice of life comic. Also, I'll pass on making friends with subtle thanks. <laughs> uh, Miles says, weighted clothes actually don't have a dramatic of a benefit as you think. It helps, but it keeps a decent chance. Or, but also a decent chance of inju injury. M Miles, do you know this because you are secretly Rock Lee? Is this how you know this? Kerr says, I need one of those lists. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't need one of those lists. All right. Let's save the pleasantries for later, shall we? This isn't the time nor the place to be entertaining ourselves with conversation. Or so I thought. But we're surprisingly not having a tough time. Our escort team seems to be fairly accomplished at the job. And they're taking care of the frogs without any issue. Looks like we got most of them. I want the rest of you cutting off their tongues, yeah? We could turn them into the association later. Captain, can't you help us out? These are very slimy and disgusting. Heh. <laughs> I'm the captain here, and because I don't want to do any of that annoying stuff. You're a tyrant. And he's into little girls. I don't get paid enough for this. You got a lot of balls, you know that. Strangely enough, they seem at home on the battlefield. With the abuse they're lobbing at one another, um, I all I can see is that it's horseplay. I'm starting to think Captain Subtle might um, simply be sharp sighted but not necessarily a bad guy however if someone's own group makes an idol of him he could still be a brute to others i can't let my guard down also goodbye sour lad thanks for stopping by <laughs> knock turtles is rock lee or go goku <laughs> girl says he's into what apparently he's into little girls listen this this thing is uncomfortably horny sometimes, and we're not even at the part where he sells the, sells the, 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 um, uh, condoms yet. We've still got a long way to go before we get to the condom selling. I'm warning you guys. I don't want to do it. <laughs> anyway, what now? Our earnings ain't bad, but if we want to be greedy, we can head to the front lines. You're aware that our mission is to protect the food transport in the metal box plus the girl carrying it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. But listen, Vice Captain Philomena, we earned some more here. It'll be quite easier to keep this group of ours running. I might even give you a nice bonus, but I guess um, that's too bad. Just really unfortunate. Captain Suttles theatrically puts a hand to his forehead and shakes his head. Philomena is the vice captain. She must have her hands full being bossed around by this free spirit. Fine, I understand. We have been wanting to get new equipment too, so let's head to the front lines to help. But only if you convince Lady Lamis. Our mission is still to guard her and Boxo. Yeah, I know, I know. Keep worrying about little things like that and you're going to get crow's feet. Take it a little easier, yeah? Wow, Captain Sell over here giving a thumbs up and a wink to Vice Captain Philomena is mad. I give you permission to punch him. In any case, or in any case, what would you like to do, Lady Lamis? We'll wait here if you wish. Let's go. Let's fight. I know you want to fight more. Ugh, shut up. You're a grown adult whining like a little kid. His wiggly motions seem to strike a nerve with Philomena. She rams a jet of water into him. Um, I'd want to help them if they're having a hard time, so let's go. Boxo, what about you? I figured Lamis would say that. No argument here. Welcome. <laughs> Casey says, I went to war, saw some shit, and at the end of the lobster, uh, and in the end, the lobster tails lost the war. K Casey, what the fuck? <laughs> BMC says, DVD, come on, I want pizza now. Um, Nocturnal says, condoms, I guess we're going to wear protection for Lamis to go get her Mountain Dew. 
All right, here we go. If the enemy made its way to us, then the front lines could be having a lot of problems. I'm not about to moan and groan about um, going to reinforce them. But, well, I can't even do that if I wanted. It's likely we'll all end up in a chaotic fight. I better pay close attention so I can activate force field right away if the need arises it. After advancing with after advancing with the boar cart, we came across a scattered skirmishes in the mud. Subtle's team gives a rallying cry and attacks the frog people. It seems like other hunters were on the back foot, so they're clearly happy for the intervention. Still, the difference in numbers is severe. Our early estimate puts their numbers around 50 at most, but looking now, there's no fewer than a 100 frog people. And if you add the corpses on the ground, the total clumps close to 200. Holy shit, the vending machine could do math. A significant number of our hunters have been injured as well, as a person in white robes is releasing white light from his hands and healing the wounded. It's, it's as though he's turning back time. Their serious wounds close up fast enough for me to see it happen. Gray says, Tondas legitimately have tactical survival usage. BMC says, oh no, I um I should redeem Volcalovania. <laughs> she says, why are we fighting frog people? I forgot. Um, Because the frog people are going to attack the town, I think. I can't remember. I can't, I can't remember what happened. I just remember they were going to go kill a bunch of frog people. I can't. You guys want me to fucking retain memories from this fucking stream? I don't want to. I, I, as soon as I'm done reading these books on stream, I go lay down and I close my eyes and I dream about a better world. I dream about a world where isekais were, were not overrunning the land. I dream of a world. Everything was fine until the isekai nation attacked. Everything was fine, okay? I don't mind isekais. I just hate when the isekais are super horny or super, like, I'm only, I'm even okay with the idea of being, re like, that's a unique take. Being born as a vending machine, wow, what a unique take. I just wish it wasn't A, horny, and B, he wasn't so overpowered as a vending machine. <laughs> Once you're done this book, are you going to donate it to a used bookstore? No, I'm going to keep it on my shelf. Um, I can actually show you guys, hopefully, if I don't dox myself too much. Hold on, hold on here. Can I do this without doxing me too much? Hold on. You guys get to see my lovely backdrop of foam. Hold on. I have kind of a wall of shame. Um, hold on. Eh, 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 eh. Mm. Hold on. Hold on, we gotta do this weird. Everybody, come with me. I gotta undo my fucking brilliantness I'm I'm hooked up to seven cords hold on I have a wall of shame here you can see there's the pickle soda and stuff this is a whole bunch of gifts from from throne at least the bottom shelf is the bottom shelf is all gifts from throne you can see even common riders back there so like these are all my throne these are chunk of throne gifts I have another throne gift back there like so I have throne gifts all over here. So that will those will go on my wall of shame. Um so that's what's going to happen with them probably. All right, let's get, let's let's re-put this back. I'm sorry for the making y'all dizzy with that. <laughs> oh no, we're at war with France. Once this book is done, um so you're saying you dream of going to another world, Grey Graves. Sh shut up. You know what, Greg Graves, I hope you don't get that fucking promotion. Um, BMC says the jailer from Shadowlands would just annihilate everything if the vending machine. Uh, all right. Did I lose my page? Oh, no, I didn't. I just hadn't started it. <clears throat> Even I know that blessing of healing light was it a fair number of people possess this blessing but the ability to heal wounds is incredibly valuable and those that have it are in high demand as a side note the woman and the older couple who comes to tell me all the time can use it almost 30 hunters are around here and it looks like about half of them are in no condition of fight 
healing their wounds won't return their stamina or the blood they've lost, so their more severely wounded hunters won't be rejoining the battle anytime soon. We have to carry the wounded to the cart. Instead of taking part in the fighting, Lamus wants to secure the wounded, hey? Oh, that was Lamus. Sorry. We have to carry the wounded to the cart. The injured open their eyes in wide confusion at her running towards them with me on her back. They don't complain as she carries them to the cart. And she lifts full-grown adults with eads, despite my considerable weight already on her back. But her physical strength is high, um... Anyway, it wouldn't make sense if she wasn't strong enough for this. Times like these trouble me since I can't help with anything. Isn't there something I could do? Maybe I'll give the wounded sports drinks as gift. Right. After she brings another person to the cart, I drop a sports drink into my compartment and say, Get one free with a winner. She seems to figure it out from that. I can give this to the wounded, right? Welcome. I drop one drink after another as Lamus picks them up and lines them up on the cart. Twenty should be enough. It's on Boxo, so drink as much as you like. Right, thanks. When the mud-caked hunters see her worrying about them from the bottom of the, her heart, weak smiles appear on their stern faces. Being cared for by the pure, innocent Lamus would stir the heart of any man. When she finished placing the injured on the cart, only twenty percent of those frog people are left. The ones who are making it through this chaotic fight with light wounds, or no wounds at all, seem like the veterans, easily spending, sending the frog people to their graves. Doesn't the overwhelming difference in ability seem a little unfair? Thank you, Kendrell. You've done the um, Menagerie of Fools proud today. Oh, whoops, shit. That was a bit director. Shit, I should have read ahead a little. <laughs> This is the most ridiculous thing ever, and I'm living for it. Miles says, dispense a lecture like cool. Drink some Gatorade. He's got some fucking Gatorade for the injured. Gatorade. Graves says, ah, thank God. I lost an arm and kidney to this Gatorade. Makes everything better. Oh, man, it's Gatorade blue fucking tits. I love Gatorade blue. Thank you for the hydrate and the stretch electrify. Let me do that. Eh. Because Gatorade is going to help me get my blood back. It's true. Gatorade. Listen, they already gave Pringles. I swear to God, if it's Powerade, I don't want that shit. I'm going to be 100% honest. I'm biased. I'll pick Gatorade over Powerade. Nothing against Powerade. You just suck Powerade. Crew, you have a choice. Gatorade or Powerade? Which one are you taking? I know I'm taking Gatorade. Red Gatorade will replace your blood. <clears throat> Thank you, Carol. You've done the Menagerie of Fools proud today. Director Bear lumbers over to us. The blood staining his claws really enhances his menacing features. Does he fight empty-handed too? Or maybe I should call it bare-handed fighting, though his sharp claws alone look like they can rival blades. Anyway, what a weird name for a group. We had a time, sir. Wasn't sure if it was necessary, though. No, I'm... Um, Grateful for your assistance. There's still more we can expect it, but thanks to you, we've slayed them. Still, there was more than one settlement's worth of frog fiends. They easily doubled our estimate for what one settlement can produce. Um, Miles says Gatorade is the new sensu bean. Gatorade, the flavors are better. I'll take Powerade over Propel. Gatorade. The bear guy's here? Yeah, bear guy's fighting, man. Miles, don't worry. There's Where's, where's Mr. Bear? I'm covering him in my screen, but there he is. There he is, Lealine. There's there's Mr. Bear. There's the bear director. <laughs> Tricks of Red Bull, Gatorade, Electrolyte, and BS science to prove so many times as bu buzzwords like that are gonna that BuzzFeed articles use. Why choose Gatorade or Powerade when you can have power thirst? <laughs> Cucumber Gatorade. Um, small E says, plus I really like Gatorade. I like cucumber Gatorade, my favorite, especially the diet. Um, I don't drink either. I drink mostly water and apple juice. Those are my two drinks of choice. <clears throat> they were willing to fight too, sir. Almost strangely so. Normally they don't attack with the intent of wiping us all out. 
Oh, shit, that was the girl. They were very willing to fight, too, sir. Almost strangely so. Normally, they don't attack with the intent of wiping us all out. That was Vice Captain Philomena's interrupting the conversation between Captain Subtle and Director Bear. She's right. When the frog people attacked me, they withdrew, withdrew once they realized it wasn't working. And they didn't come after me again. I can agree they're not the kind of creature to recklessly assault over and over. Hmm, only one thing could have caused this. Yep, can think of nothing else. That's what it would mean. All three of them are grimacing. Judging by the way they're speaking, maybe the situation is giving them a bad premonition. I wish they'd come out and say it instead of leaving a, the rest of us up to read between the lines. I can't ask them about it directly myself. Huh? What do you mean? Nice one, Lamis. That's what I wanted to ask. Ah, sorry. It's a strictly speculation, but there's a good chance we're dealing with a frog or with a king frog fiend. A, a king frog fiend? What's that? Seems strong from the name alone. I have a bad feeling about this. Dun dun dun! End of that chapter. <laughs> Red Bull gives you wings. <laughs> Vitamin water. Also, when you like to sniff, it smells good. You know apple juice spikes your blood sugar. It does, but I don't care. I don't get a lot of apple juice, but man, do I get a lot of water. There's water all over my desk. Oh my god. Hold on, everybody. Fuck me. There is now water all over my desk. Panicking. And there's also a sticker under here. Great. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> you guys are now going to see how messy my desk is and why there's water. Ah! My my drawing glove got wet. No. Oh no, this sucks so much. I gotta go grab stuff. Hold on, hold on, everybody. Intermission time. Do 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 do. do. I'm gonna put you on intermission, but I'm gonna let you guys hear me. It's okay. It's okay. You guys can still hear me as I desperately clean up my desk now. There's more water than anticipated. I thought maybe just a little water spilled when I dropped my water bottle, but apparently not. Oh no, we're in danger. Danger, danger. All my expensive electronics are in danger. Fuck me. So how are you guys? How are you enjoying the book so far? Oh, Christ. It went everywhere. What the fuck? I gotta take everything off my desk. Hold on. I gotta remove everything off my desk. Everything must go. Did it reach my plushies? No, it didn't reach my plushies. Thank God. It didn't reach the plushies. We're safe. We're safe on that aspect. <laughs> this vending machine stream has been interrupted by copious amounts of water. Oh, my stickers. Okay. Everything, get off my desk. Yeah. Into the hallway. We're live. We, I can't deal with you right now. <laughs> Hi, crew. <laughs> I, I, while I was reading, I noticed my water bottle was sideways, um, but I didn't think it actually spilled. I thought it was just, um, cause the water was low enough that it didn't look like any poured out, but apparently I was wrong and it was leaking all directly under my tablet the entire time I've been reading. Um, so that's fucking rad. All right. Uh, All right. There, that's better. Okay, it's good enough. I'm just gonna leave everything in the hallway. Whoopsie doodle. Whoopsie doodle. All my expensive equipment is wet. Why didn't any of you motherfuckers tell me? Let's put my headphones back on. All right. <laughs> Thanks, vending machine. I'm going to blame the fucking vending machine for this. All right. There. Oh, shit. Matt's here. Now he's going to know about my crime. Now he's going to know that I, as a professional streamer, I have gotten all of my stuff wet. All of my expensive equipment is wet. 
Bring it back. Bring it back, everybody. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Intermission time. Why is he has to pee? I wish I had to pee. I wish I didn't just drop water all over my fucking desk. We're good now. This is the culprit, everybody. This is the fucking culprit, is this water bottle. It was open. Anyway. We're good. Let's get back into it. Um, I've gathered you all here because the map on the back of the Declaration of Independence. Thanks, Curbs. Uh, Grace says, I can't believe your computer got wet with excitement for the vending machine. Well, it's a sexy vending machine shot water bottle at your desk. Maybe it did. This is punishment for my hubris. You think you could get away with just reading smut on the internet? Think again, idiot. Oh, well, my stickers got wet, and I don't know how waterproof some of them are. Oh, that upsets me. I want to wipe them off again. Hold on, crew. Hold on. Hold on. I have stickers on my desk. I stuck stickers to my desk because I like stickers. And a chunk of them got wet. A lot of them are kind of weatherproof, but still they're on a desk and I don't want them to be wet. There. Okay, it looks like they'll be okay. There's a couple that aren't waterproof, I have now noticed. A couple of them are super not cool with getting watered. <laughs> That's fine. That's probably fine. That's probably fine. It's okay. It's okay. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So it's the worst when something happens uh, to your stickers and you can't peel them off your desk. Yeah, see, I have stickers over... You can't really see them behind the bunnies, which is a cursed thing that showed up at my house. Right there on the corner, there's all my stickers that I get, and I put them on there, so... You guys are just getting a tour of my office today. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I'm back. Headphones are on. Luckily, luckily, the vending machine porn didn't get wet. Let's all just be grateful that the fucking vending machine porn book didn't get wet. <clears throat> On to altercation. That's okay. That was an excuse for me to finally clean my fucking desk. I never clean my fucking desk, ever. I avoid it as much as possible. And, uh... That's an excuse now to clean my fucking desk. <sighs> anyway, let's get into it. This is altercation. We're altercation and then we go to King Frog Fiend. And we might actually be able to do King Frog Fiend today. Let's try it. Leaving the out-of-commission wounded to rest in the cart and reassigning them as an escort... Only the strongest move ahead to defeat the King of Frogs, the King Frog Fiend. In a normal story, this is where the protagonist would be chosen and one of the, as one of the members, but Lamis and I, the vending machine, are staying behind. Of course, providing things to eat and drink is the whole point of why I'm here, so it's only natural. The six people assigned as our escort are the so-called Menagerie of Fools, led by Carol. If I had eyebrows, they would be furrowing them right now um, over the naming sense. But all six of them have gone to slay the king. The frog base, their settlement, should hold only the king and its henchmen. So we can wait here at ease. Which means it's time to do business. I've been placed near a cart, so let's rack up a few more points. Welcome. Welcome. Fair, you did get wet. You have two copies of Volume 1. No, I have three copies. I have copy. I have book 1, book 2, and book 3. I don't have three copies of this. I've got several copies. And they're all... It's book 1, book 2, and book 3. And that's all I got. I love how it keeps reminding me of he is a vending machine. As if we forgot. I know. Isn't this badly written? Lord Potter says, I had a work call and was gone for five minutes. Did I miss any spot? No, you missed my water bottle dumping water all over my desk in my panic to clean it up. So you literally missed nothing. 
I was literally just panic cleaning my desk. We have an assortment of warm food and beverages. Drinks are one silver coin apiece. Lemus helps me out in response to my calls. It looks like perfect timing as the hunters are catching their breath. A cup of ramen, tea, and sport drink sales begin to shoot through the roof. At first, not many in the settlement liked sports drinks since they'd never experienced the flavors before. But when the hunters downed them all after a workday um, had tired them out, it alleviated all their exhaustion. Word got out, and now they're hugely popular with the hunters. I've heard that this famous sports drink, with its blue and white logo, was developed um, in the first place for medicinal purposes. It's excellent at rehydrating you. As I recall the few times when I had a cold or diarrhea, it helped me immensely. I'm sorry, was... Does Gatorade help with diarrhea? Is it... Pulling the phone out. We're pulling the phone out. Does Gatorade help with diarrhea? Does Gatorade... Diarrhea... Bad news, everybody. The most important treatment for diarrhea is to drink fluids that contain water, salt, and sugar. Sports drinks like Gatorade may be acceptable if you are not dehydrated or otherwise healthy. Wow. 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 Also, a blue and white? Um, I, That could be Powerade. I'll just type in sport drink sport drink. They described Pringles perfectly. No, Gatorade has blue and white. Like, if you use the blue Gatorade, yeah, it's blue and white, dude. It's fine. Look. Blue Gatorade is blue and white. Oh, whoops. Block. I don't want you knowing my location. Blue Gatorade. It's fine. <laughs> oh, no. Blast it out of both ends. Get me some Gatorade. <laughs> Oh, man. Ahem. <laughs> Let's get into it. Shoot, I'm getting something to eat warm without having to start a fire. Count me in. We don't have to clean up either, which is great. I want some of these for our team, too. The vending machine's capabilities seem quite convenient for the hunters. A lot of people are glancing env enviously this way. Captain Subtle was enough of a nuisance. Do I have to start being cautious around other hunters, too? Lamis seems happy. I'm so popular. She's smiling even wider than usual. I can't imagine she realizes the intent behind those stairs, though. Sorry, could someone help me patch this guy up? Oh, I'll do it. Boxo, you'll be alone for a few moments. Mo moments but don't cry oh if but don't but don't cry if you get lonely okay please come again what's that supposed to mean i'll be right back she was teasing with her question so I quickly returned the flavor she puffs out her cheek and pretends to be a little sulky then runs off if i were a human it might look like we were a couple but i'm an inanimate object unless I feel like that's setting up for an unless. Like, look at how it's written. Look, this is so uncomfortable for me. Look at how this is fucking written. If I were, if I were a human, it might look like we are a couple, but I'm an inanimate object. So, dot dot dot, unless. Oh, the softy's gone. Now my chance. A short, gangly man with marked. Buck teeth glances around and walks over. I know he's a ter I know it's terrible to offense to judge a book by its cover, but allow me this. He is a sketchy dude. He looks somehow like a stereotypical grunt, like basic uh, cannon fodder. I instinctively want to call him a low life thug. He's whistling as he approaches. His eyes are inspecting me up and down. I follow his gaze. He seems to be looking at the coin sl slot. Let's see what to buy, says the grunt, look, um, 
says the grunt looking hunter in purposely loud voice as he tries um to stick a thin wire like object into the coin slot. Oh, so he wants to steal my money. I'll have to respond respond in kind. Welcome, I say at max volume. We Oh, he becomes so scared he jumps. Thanks to my volume and his cry of surprise, several people are watching us. What will you do now? Huh, <laughs> it can really talk. Pretty cool. He's pretending to be impressed, but his smile is a shaky one. If he buys something and leaves, I'll leave him alone. But he doesn't look that honest. Bastard, if you know what I'm saying, then just give up the money, unless you want someone to break you. So it's come to whispered threats. Oh, he's jabbing me with his toes. Interesting. He's underestimating me because, as a vending machine, I have no arms or legs. Why do you need to say that? Why is it phrased like this? This is the worst fucking writing I've ever had the uncomfortableness of fucking reading. Why is he phrasing everything like this? He's underestimating me because, because as a vending machine, I have no arms or legs. He tells us he's a vending machine every seventh fucking paragraph. He needs to constantly remind... It was just like you were saying. He has to constantly fucking remind us that he's a vending machine. And I fucking hate it. I think this is why it's so... It's not so much the smut. It's the hardness to read. It's not so much the hardness of the dicks. It's the hardness of the phrases. Anyway. <laughs> why don't I show him the true strength of a vending machine that can defend itself? I drop a bottle of minimal water into my apartment and I see joy light up on the man's face. Then, as he reaches in and fetches around for it, I drop another item. Another sound. Ah, it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Ah. ha. <laughs> How do you like my burning hot corn soup heated to the maximum temperature? Why don't I add some fuel to the fire? Get one free with a winner. After dribbling, dropping several more cans of corn soup in the man's hand, uh, gets stuck inside. I will not allow you to harm my body and steal my money. I will let you suffer for a while. Man, that should be everybody's fucking stance on on things don't allow people to to harm your body and steal your money oh also i want everybody to know i just got a notification of activity on my porch and the activity is that there's a cat i know you can't see because it it's very blurry but my phone just said there's activity on your front porch and the front porch activity is a cat <laughs> that's delightful <laughs> I only noticed because it lit up. And I was like, ooh, a package. But then it's just a cat. Um, grunt voice Joey Wheeler in the house. The hardness of dicks. Mouse says, yeah, I'm a vending machine. You don't know a vending machine? It's almost like a vending machine dispenses food and drinks. <laughs> Man, they, I feel like he's sitting. He's that meme of those people standing around in a party and he's a vending machine. And he's standing in the corner and he's like, they don't know I'm a vending machine. <laughs> Damn you, damn you, shitty box. I'll smash you to pieces. The man pulls out a short sword from his waist and swings wildly. I can repel it with my force field, but I won't take much damage uh, if it hits me. I take the hit on purpose to let everyone know how foolish this act is. After making my decision, I, I stare at the blade's grip as it approaches me, but right before it touches me, it stops right in its track. What are you trying to do to Boxo? Was that low, intimidating voice, Lamis's? She must have run over after hearing the noise. I didn't know she could sound like that. Feeling something grab at his wrist, the man turns around and freezes. That's how fearsome Lamis's expression is. Her ordinarily cute face now bears a wide, scornful eyes, reflecting the frightening extent of her wrath. N -n nothing I was just trying to get the item, and it dropped so many that my arm caught, and I can't get out. But you did something weird to him first, didn't you? Once again, Lamis shows how sharp and quick-witted she is. I think I'm in love. You're a fucking vending machine! Cat! Cat. Oh, I'm glad to see this one. Cat, please. Cat. The vending machine is falling in love with the girl. This is... This is like this is like Twilight. Remember how Twilight had that line? What is it? And it was like, and so the the lion fell in love with the lamb or whatever the fuck it was. I can't remember. I didn't actually read Twilight, but that's it's literally what's happening here. And thus, the vending machine fell in love with the girl. 
It says right there, I think I'm in love. It says it. It's the real words. Yes, <laughs> sex with Mandy Machine, please, crew. Please. Oh, God. Okay. <clears throat> please, cat, don't do this. Thanks for resubscribing for 60 months. Damn. Cat, have we really known each other that long? Damn. <laughs> oh, man. So this is just Vending Machine Beauty and the Beast, right? <laughs> Boxo, the heavyweight champ, body slams the grunt threatening his true love. Oh, man. Now, now this thing just started acting up on me. Boxo, did he really not do anything strange? Too bad. See, Boxo says you're lying. What? You're going to believe the metal box over me? Of course I am, Lamis interrupts immediately. She has such incredible faith in me. I almost want to give her a hug. If only I had arms. Remember again, everybody's got to remind us he's a vending machine and he has no arms. In case you guys forgot, in the past like two paragraphs that he's a vending machine and has no arms, he helpfully reminded us that he doesn't have arms. What I have to do is is one more canned present for the liar. It's cool temperature, but its weight will crush his hand. Ow, ow, that hurts, stupid box. Stop it. Come to think of it, are you the one the captain told me to be wary of? Are you Guggoyle? Oh, my God, his name's Guggoyle. G-U-G-O-Y-L-E. Guggoyle. Someone please make fan art of Wazzy and the vending machine. I'm not going to have sex with a vending machine. Please, please crew if you can do anything for me don't don't please don't i don't want to i don't want to please all right <laughs> what no, no, no i'm not he's clearly suspicious what a terrible actor to boot he's blatantly looking away there's a bead of sweat dripping down his temple he's practically saying yes Lamis, that'll be Guggoyle, famous for his sticky fingers, says an older man with a scraggly beard, sticking his head out of the cart. Oh, he's the one that, that explained to his subordinates how to use the vending machine. I'll mentally jot him down as a good person in my list. Hmm, I don't need to go easy on him then, right? Lamis cracks her fingers, and despite looking down on the man with a smile, she looks somewhat terrifying. The rest of the hunters end up tying up the man with a straw rope and throwing him into the cart with the wounded. Things go smoothly, because apparently he has a criminal record for stealing money from hunters, and everyone neatly sided with Lamis. Well, that was unconfrontational. God, I hate how he spends way more time talking about Lamis's boobs than he did Everybody siding with Lamis and tying up a bad guy. I hate that. Cat <laughs> uh, says, not sex. More like running away. Grace says, I'm imagining Wazzy taped to a vending machine begging for someone to get them out. <sighs> oh, trapped in a vending machine. Curve says, I love sticking my hand in your shift. <laughs> God damn it, Curves! Kakashi says, I don't want to be on any list of this vending machine, good or bad. Kat says, was he being trapped and crying for help as the vending machine traps her um, and has her read? <laughs> Smalley says, the vending machine has no arms or no legs, um, not head. He gets zero bitches and zero head. Yeah, the vending machine's literally looking at his phone like, what? No head? Smash his phone. I'm going to drink what little water I didn't spill on my desk. I'm running out of water, everybody, because most of it was on my desk. Sadness. <sighs> Time idly passes after that. No one's who's headed for the base. Or the ones who are headed for the base are probably fighting right now. I don't know how strong a king frog fiend is, but that doesn't give me any reason to worry. If I could talk, I would be seeking out information right now. But I can only listen, so I don't have anything else to do. There were more of them than we thought, but we'll get extra rewards for it. Can't wait to get back to the settlement and have a drink. The group waiting here is certain of our victory. Everyone is relaxing. In the cart, nine are injured. Six are guarding them. Battles are unpredictable by nature, so it seems to me that they're not being cautious enough. Still, can't do anything. So I have the right... So I have the right to com so I don't have the right to complain, and I can't talk that freely anyway. He literally just said he couldn't talk earlier. God damn it! 
But yeah, she said, if I could talk, I would be seeking out. Listen, look at this. Everybody, I want you to make note of this. This is my book. I can fucking highlighter it if I want. Do I have a fucking highlighter up here? No, we don't. But I got a pen. Okay. I want you all to look at this. Right here, he says, I can only listen. So I don't, or he says, if I could talk, I would be seeking out information, but I can only listen. That's right here. I put a mark on the page right there. You can see that, right? And then literally right down here, the next part, this next dot, he says, and I can't talk that freely anyway. He's literally, literally not even a fucking paragraph. He has to remind us that he's a fucking vending machine and can't talk. I hate, I fucking hate this so much. It's not even the smut crew. It's not even the smut. I don't even care. I don't even care. I will I will read this girl going down on a vending machine. I don't care. I I just can't handle the way it's written. Oh god, okay. Got that out of my system. I should earn, add an, earn enough points to add alcohol as a new product when we return to the settlement. Sochu and tonic, sake, and cocktails are all options. Which one would people in this world like? Come to think of it, would they be able to drink something so carbonated if I provided it? Some kids get sore throats the first time they have a carbonated drink, after all. Well, they seem fine once they get used to it, so maybe I can stock some. Uh, water bottle war of uh, 2022. Line Chamber says, nothing like some pretzel dogs for lunch while listening to smut being read by a deli bar loving Canadian. I hate deli bars. DSC says, oh my god, I just realized the title. <laughs> the title of this stream is so funny and amusing. Thanks, BMC. Small Z says, suspiciously, the guy was stealing his arms and legs, so maybe the vending machine was jealous. <laughs> she, she sticks her ticks into the spinning things and it puts a coin inside. God damn it. I had Lamis test it once before, but she couldn't grasp how to open the pull tab. I, she fiddled around with it for a bit, shaking the can up. As soon as she got it open, it sprayed all over her. Ever since then, Lamis has been afraid of carbonated drinks, so I haven't offered any. Maybe it would be all right to perform it for someone else, as long as it's low on the carbonation. It looks like this will end safely, huh, Boxo? I'll bake you nice and clean when we get back, so just hang in there a little longer. Welcome. I'm looking forward to that. It's not as though I have a sense of touch, but I do sort of like getting wiped down with a moist cloth. It somehow refreshes my body and mind, and it feels good. I don't have the right expression to read this. It's not as though I have a sense of touch, but I do sort of like getting wiped down with a moist cloth. It really refreshes my mind and my body and mind, and it feels good. I was worried when I'd heard we'd be participating in the fighting, but it looks like we'll be able to get home without any deaths among the hunters. I'm in a good mood, so maybe I'll have a celebration sale when we get back to the settlement. I th That's not good! Hey, everyone, get out of here! That huge thing is coming right this way! A man in the cart, his chest wrapped in bandages, is shouting and pointing in the distance. Prompted by how desperate he sounds, I look over and see a giant frog covered in flames hopping towards us. Jesus, fuck! That sounds rad! So technically we're at the two-hour mark. Um, which would technically usually mean end of stream. However, let me just look at my list here. So we are now on... The King Frog Fiend. So. If I read another chapter. That puts us at out of the frying pan. Which means if we reach the goal. And I have to read another chapter. If I read five chapters. We will end next stream with a vending machine for, for adults. Which is the really porny chapter. And you know, and then it goes to the public baths, which sounds even worse. Would you guys like more? Here, I'm going to put a pool up. Thank you, BMC, for a drink. I don't even have any water left because I spilled. Look at how much water I have left because I spilled it all over my desk. I'm going to put a pool up. Would you guys like more? Do you want me to keep streaming? I'm going to put a pool up 
and let you guys decide. And while you decide, I'm going to go grab more water. More reading? Question mark. Yes or no? Right now, live. I will continue the stream if you guys want to. But in order for me to continue the stream, I got to go get more water. So I'm going to let you guys vote. You can pick whether you want me to continue or not. I'm going to go get more to drink. You're going to look at the fucking intermission and you're going to enjoy yourself. You're going to listen to the deep, dope Raku beats. If you want me to continue the stream and we can read at least another chapter, maybe even two if you're good, um, and I don't die, and I don't spill more water over my desk. Um, but I will continue reading today. I will continue this stream. I'll keep doing this stream if that's what you guys want. Um, but I'm going to go grab more water, because either way, I'm going to need more water. So... Enjoy yourselves. Listen to Rocky's dope beats. Looks like we're doing it. Looks like, uh, 
Looks like we're continuing, everybody. Looks like the stream is uh is continuing on for today. So um bringing us back. Bringing us the fuck back. Um water is refilled. Boop 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 boop. Um and I also cuz I'm dying slightly, I got myself some tea. So um don't worry, I'm going to try to sp not spill the hat on my desk. Um, so yeah, I guess we're going to stream a little bit longer. What else am I doing today? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Actually, I do have work to do, but whatever. Hmm. Oh, man. Okay, I guess we're doing it, crew. We're back. We're reading the frog. We, we can't leave it with just a burning frog, I guess. So we got to keep reading. Here we go. What's this? Why is the frog fiend, the king frog fiend, coming this way? What are the other guys doing? Weren't they supposed to kill it? Ignoring the angry shouts flying between the hunters, I focus on the giant frog. Several hunters are in pursuit a short distance behind it. Judging by their sizes, the frog is probably around ten feet tall. I could reach the second it could reach the second story of an apartment building. Unlike the frog people, this one is mostly frog. It isn't walking on two legs. Its limbs are the same as a frog's, wearing dirt colored armor on its body, though it doesn't look like an ordinary frog. Um, okay, that sentence was all fucky-wucky, but okay. Anyway, more importantly, how do those flames get all um, all over at work? I think the moment that the hunters must have set it on fire, but the frog seems fine with it. So there's fires the monster's doing? Crap, it's raging too! We can't get close to it! Oh, so I suppose those flames are on purpose. I can guess that it's something akin to a blessing. Man, first my force field, and now this. Is there anything blessings can't do? Every time it hops, I feel a tremor throughout my machine body. Maybe it may be only ten feet tall, but it must be pretty damn heavy. Come to think of it, I've heard that if you grab a frog's muscles, you can feel how hard they actually are. I'm calmly thinking things over, but isn't this, like, seriously bad? Retreat! Everyone retreat! Run! Leave your stuff and go! Everyone immediately begins to withdraw. At first, I assume it's going to uh, become a chaotic, messy affair, but everyone is moving skillfully. In just a few seconds, most of the hunters have fled. Huh? Um, what? Lamis is simply glancing around her, unsure of what to do. I know she isn't good at making snap decisions, but hitting, um... The warm button over and over isn't going to do anything. Calm down, calm down. Too bad, too bad. What? Yeah, you're right. I have to calm down. But Boxo, we, we should run away too. She finally snaps out of it. After lifting me onto her back and stepping out to run, she stops. I consider urging her on, but then I see where she's looking, and I realize why she's still there. Damn, the U-bar won't move. Did that thing scare it? Move it, please. I know the boar with the horn is called a, a, a boar. Um, did it freeze up after seeing that giant frog? A deer in headlights is one thing, but a boar scared of frogs is just silly. He says that, but bitch is a vending machine. <laughs> like, like how, how fucking, c come on. Bro, the vending machine should uh, dispense a Glock. <laughs> I don't want that. If the cart carrying the wounded um, won't move, then they'll have to walk unaided. Their wounds are closed, but they have already lost a lot of blood and stamina. There's probably zero chance of any of them being able to run and flee. But there's no time to hesitate when it comes to keeping Lamis safe. Her life is the most important thing right now. It will mean abandoning them, but leaving the others behind in an emergency isn't a sin. So, I have to help them. If the U-bar can't move, then I'll pull the cart. I figured she'd say that. 
She saved me because she's like that. If it comes down to it, I'll make the strongest force field I can. Do what you want. Even if I can't save everyone else, I'll save her no matter what. She runs over to the boar I'm just going to call it a boar. The boar cart gently strokes the frightened boar's back and undoes its restraints. Suddenly, as though snapping out of a trance, the, amp the animal stampedes away. Why, why you? The boar's run away. Are you telling us to die? No, I'll pull you instead, Lamis shouts, interrupting the wounded person before grasping the cart's handle with both hands. She clenches her teeth and takes a step forward. Normally, one girl wouldn't be enough to pull a cart with nine whole adults in it, but she has the incredible might, enough to carry me, a vending machine, on her back with ease. The result isn't surprising to me, since I already know that, but... Herrng! It's slow going. Her feet are caught on the quagmire of the ground, and its wheels sink heavily into it. Just being able to move a bit slowly is a masterful feat. But it doesn't count for much in this situation. The king frog fiend approaches from behind has gotten fairly close. At this rate, it's only a matter of time before it either tramples us or laps us up into its giant mouth, or possibly burns us to death. If I could talk, I would tell her to put down the vending machine she's carrying. But even if I could, I bet she'd refuse. Holy shit, it's been one whole page since he last reminded us that he couldn't talk. Wow, what a fucking predicament that is. I'm going to sip some of this fucking tea and restore my voice. If only a kindly vending machine would dispense me some corn soup so that my voice could restore so I could continue reading this. <sighs> Bardock says, nice, I always wanted an audiobook of this. Bardock, I don't. Bardock, I don't. I don't want this. Ah, horrible. <laughs> Not the tea, the book. The, the tea was all right. The tea itself is fucking dope. What now? What should we do? The only option is to endure it is attacks with force field. I could save Lamis with that, but not the wounded. If none of the competent folks can finish it off, finish it off with only wounded people is impossible. The hunters that stayed behind are our escort ran away first thing too. Is there no way to stop it? All we have to do is startle it, or get it on its way. If we could buy some time, the hunters chasing from behind should be able to manage the jo and get the job done. Isn't there any item I can use right now? I skimmed through my product listing, but the tremors and cries of the wounded are easily are steadily intensifying, making me impatient. Ha! Ah, damn it! Anything! Anything! A beneficial item or a product in the lineup of items I've bought for four. Now, wait a second. Oh. If we use this and that, we might be able to stall the frog. How many points do I have? Over 6,000? I can afford it. First, I need a new function and a change. Until now, half-liter plastic bottles were the, large, were the biggest I could stock. But I'm send, spending 1,000 points to make it so that I could stock two-liter bottles as well. Oh my god, is he going to put Mentos and Coke together? I hope he fucking puts Mentos and Coke together to defeat this frog. That's what I want. I fucking want this vending machine to put Mentos and fucking two liters of Coca-Cola together and fucking annihilate a frog. I love it. I hate it. <laughs> okay. Now I'll buy new items. Line an entire shelf with two liter bottles of cola, a carbonated drink. It's the kind with the diet before the name, which I haven't seen recently. I don't need any other items right now. I'm on Lamis's back, so she won't notice if I change products for now. I'll give her one. Well, well what was that? D did it catch us? No, Lamis, it was that thing on your back, Boxo. It looks a little different, and something came out. Nice assist, beard guy. Lamis, please figure it out now. But but why did you give me an item for free now? Boxo, why did you do that on purpose? Welcome. You have a plan, huh? I'll trust you. Lamis releases the cart without hesitating. She puts me on the ground that takes out the two-liter plastic bottle. Wait, it's all bubbly. Is that strange juice? She seems to remember what happened, and she's frowning because of it. But it's fine as long as she understands. Time for a big treat. I drop I drop one bottle after another into my compartment. Lamis takes them out as they come and busies herself with lining them up on the cart. 
Come to think of it, it's not shaking anymore. Did something happen? I glance towards the fog fiend and see that the hunters have managed to catch up and attack it. But they seem like they're in a bad spot and they don't have a good way to deal with those flames. At this rate, either way, it'll definitely arrive here very soon. That doesn't change the fact that we need to do something. I buy a, a second additional function. Now it's time for a for form change. Oh God, no. Light wraps around me as I begin a swift change to do something different. The edge of my rectangular body disappear and replaced by a pillar-like shape. Vivid colors splash across my lower half in a polka dot pattern. Above that is a transparent body, which provides a clear view of my contents. It's filled to the brim with my latest... Oh my god! I called it! I fucking, I fucking called it, everyone. I fucking called it. <coughs> Which provides a clear view of my contents. It's filled to the brim with my latest product. Colorful candies wrapped in a cylindrical paper packaging. The candies are similarly shaped to the stones used in Go, and there are several in one roll. They're delicious if you eat them like you're supposed to. He's fucking, he's fucking putting fucking mints in, he's fucking Mentos coking this shit. He is fucking, I fucking called, did I not fucking call, this is a Wazzy win. Somebody give me a fucking Wazzy wins on the board, because I fucking called this. I fucking called this. Okay, I deserve a Wazzy wins. Somebody give me a fucking Wazzy wins on the board immediately. Fuck me. <laughs> Thank you, Ryura. Goddamn. Okay. Huh? What? Huh? Fox has gotten round and soft. Hey, if you say it like that, people are going to think I had a mean personality before. Wait, I don't have time to be thinking about that. You're about to get this candy for free, too. <laughs> don't party horn for that. I, I, I guess I was right. You know what? You know what? Party horn for this. That's all right. You know what? I was right. I was right. I was I was right about a video of about a vending machine book I'm reading. <laughs> um Oh, um, should I take these too, right? Welcome. Lamis picks up everything overflowing from my compartment. Things are going smoothly. The problem comes now. How am I going to make her understand? How can I convey my plan? I suppose I can only make use of what I have. Insert coins. Insert coins. Insert coins. Huh? You gave me so many items, but you want coins now? Too bad. Insert coins. Insert coins. Well, what? I suppose that's nowhere near enough information, but I don't have any other way of doing this. I know it's absurd, but please, somehow. Lamus, that thing's broken. No, he isn't. Boxer was trying really hard to tell me something. I feel like I could cry. She trusts me, and she's trying to figure this out. Even if I don't get my points across, I'll have no regret. Just the fact that Lamus is here now, believing in me, is enough. This carbonated drink, candy, insert coins, but not... This drink exploded on me before, right? Hmm, so if I do that again... But what's this candy for? They came out without me putting money in. But I have to put in coins, or maybe not. One more step. One more step. Please figure it out. Doesn't matter. Get these ropes off me. I'm not dying here with a lot of you. That noisy guy must be the lowlife they wrapped up in straw rope. I'd forgotten he exists. Ah, oh, shut up already. Someone put something in his mouth and make him quiet down. Got it. What about this? Oh, the bearded man yelled at the wounded person who threw an entire roll of candy into the guy's mouth. <laughs> Did you just shove a roll of paper in my mouth? It's got something inside. Wait, what's this? It's insanely good, but it's drying my throat out. Someone give me water. Water now. When he spat it out, the paper wrapping must have torn. A piece of candy dropped inside his mouth. How dare he enjoy the flavors while we're on the precipice of death. Gah, shut up. Drink this. I don't care. The bearded man tosses coal over to the wounded man, who opens at the top and makes the lowlife drink it. Ah. 
<laughs> that's that's literally what it says. B F F A H H H H H H H H. I don't know if you guys can read it because the camera sucks ass, but a hundred percent it says boof. Also, great. Fuck you, Wazzy wins do exist. Liquid erupts from his mouth. Lama sees this and figures everything out. You don't mean put coins in. You mean put these candies in. Welcome. That's correct, Lemus. She tears open the paper wrapping and pours the entire roll of candy into the cola. It spurts out everywhere, getting the hunter soaking wet. What? What? Th th that thing exploded. What's this sweet flavor? Ack, it stinks my eyes. Yes, it's a phenomenon that gained instant fame on video websites. If you put a certain kind of candy in cola, all the liquid bursts out like a geyser. Salt and... Ramune. Ramune? Ramune would have worked as well, but this combination has the most force behind it. Also, this variety of cola reacts to it the best. The eruption spans three or four yards, or those experienced will attest. Now that she needs to know what to do, Lamis passes out cola and candy to the wounded people and gives them a quick explanation. I see everyone has gotten some. We've got nothing to use, lose. Let's splash them. I can't believe I fucking called it. I can't believe I called it. It was going to fucking, um, fucking cola and, and Mentos them. What is the mint copyrighted? He hasn't mentioned any names, but he's described them. Like the Gatorade and the Pringles. He's never said them flat out, but he's mentioned them. So um, it's it's sort of one of those things. It's 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 weird. I can't I can't put it properly. But um yeah. Ah oh, man, okay. We're doing it. We're going to read out of the frying pan. Ooh, we got another picture of a frog dying. Wow. Wow, we're getting a picture of a frog dying, everybody. Um, we'll read this, and then I'll end the stream, and we'll end on defense, which means if you guys put in enough points to the goal, um, we'll read defense, reconstruction work, gold and silver, and vending machine for adults next time, if we get to it. But if we don't, that's fine by me. I'm 100% okay with defeating this frog king and never bringing this up again. Uh, oh, man. This is the greatest thing ever. It's Fentos and Pepsi. Um, just say mint candy with Diet Cola. Not if you mix cola with a certain type of candy. <clears throat> um, first, let's think where that we should evacuate to. Oh, the Hunters Association. That, that's right, the association. Rattled, Lamis slips to, into her accent. The Hunters Association. Now that she mentions it, I've never actually seen the rest of the settlement. I have no idea what kind of building the association is in. I mean, it's a place for bringing people together, or bringing together brawny hunters who do a lot of fighting. So I have an image in my mind of a fairly large, sturdy building that, that bears its director. So what's inside would have to be well built, lest things start breaking. Come on, let's roll, says Lamis, then realizes her accent is coming out. I mean, l l we should get going. Thank you. Please come again. Ah, the way I'm talking feels so unclear, but I have to compromise. Wait, what? Oh, whoops, I jumped ahead. Whoops, I was reading the wrong page. We're out of the frying pan is where we're supposed to be reading. Never mind all that shit I just said. The fierce fighting continues, the combat drawing slowly closer. Does the Frog King want to eat weakened, Im immobilized hunters? Do they, they do say carnivores prey on the weakest of the group. A fair bit of distance still divides us, but the heat must be reaching us since Lamis and the hunters are scowling. The hunters are currently fighting and appear to have noticed us. Before they could say everything, the Frog King heads straight for us. We can't escape anyway. It would be a waste not to struggle, even if it won't do anyone any good. Get every, get ready, everyone, calls Lamis. Right. Everyone lines up on the edge of the cart, puts their candy into their colas, plugs their bottles, holes closed with their fingers. Then the bubbles fill inside. Aim at the eyes. Black streams of, gl gl of gushing cola fly from their plastic bottles, heading for the Frog King's eyeballs. 
As it approaches, on contact with its flame, the liquid evaporates instantly, but we've got plenty more. The Frog King, looking annoyed, tries to attack us, but now its flames have weakened. One of the hunters switch, switched to the offensive. That's when we harass it with a second volley. Blah. <laughs> The group's vice captain, Philomena, manages to help, slinging her own water into the fray. Thanks to her shot, our cola splashes hits it right in the eyes. <coughs> I'm coughing so I can do this next part. <laughs> oh, it's blinking madly. Cola really hurts when it gets in your eyes, doesn't it? I know the feeling. As the frog king, king rides with enrages, the hunters don't let this opportunity go. They begin an all-out attack. Anyway, we've harassed it enough, so we can leave the rest to him. Now's our chance to beat a retreat. Run away! While I bounce around on Lamas's back, she pulls the cart, fleeing at full force. I send the last few words to the frog king. Please come again. With the frog king's vision impaired, the hunters are easily, easily downed it. When it was over, I had a thought. Wouldn't things have worked out if Lamis just used her might to throw the bottles of cola? Or any liquid, really, at the frog from close range? Oh, but she's clumsy. It's So it's pretty likely her throws wouldn't land. And I had no way to suggest that either. That's the excuse I'm, leave, leave, I'm using. Leave it to someone who's lost his cool to come up with the walls of ideas, I guess. All's well that ends out well. So I can't dis complain. There might have been a different way. Yeah, I'll reflect on my mistake. I'm glad it worked out, Boxo. Yeah, this is all thanks to you, Boxo. I'm happy they're praising me for this, but I can feel conflicted about it. If I could give them anything, I could have given them glass cylinders or something. They could throw those, or the Frog King could have died in the ex uh, ensuing explosion. But my inventory is limited to things I have bought from vending machines in the past. Products with gas in them, canisters and hairspray included, seem weak and, impact, um, and impacts to heat. But I've never seen them in vending machines before, though they might actually be sold out there somewhere. Oh, hello, digital ghost. Uh, how unfortunate that you found me at this time. How how unfortunate for all of us involved that you're here today now while reading vending machine smut. How 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 unfortunate for mostly all of us. <laughs> I gotta take this opportunity to have a drink now, everybody. If you're wondering what kind of tea I'm drinking, I have no fucking idea. I literally just grabbed something out of the shelf. It's some kind of berry. It's great. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, let's get back into it. I can't think of any other situations at the moment, so I suppose this was the only way. Hmm. I'll have to learn a little bit more of how I work. If we're on the subject of things to reflect upon, points consumption. The two-liter bottle support and candy roll vending mode cost 2000 Purchasing the cola and candy costs 40 in total, meaning I spend over 2,040 points altogether. Lion Tamer says, we only have uh, three people no, donate no, 2K no, points. No. We don't want that, Lion Tamer. I don't I don't want to read the next chapters. I'm okay with just beating the Frog King and then pretending we never knew that my life as a vending machine continued. <laughs> also, welcome to the crew, Digital Ghost. This is a, like Jimmy. Why did you come at this point in time? Why, why, is, the, why is this the day? The day of all days that you have decided to come here. How, how fucking delightful. It was enough to let us scrape by, so it's, I suppose it's fine. Don't do anything reckless again. I feel my gut freeze solid. Oh, shit, sorry, that was the wrong voice. <clears throat> Don't do anything reckless again. I felt my gut freeze solid. I'm sorry, Director. Director Bear has walked over and offered some candid advice to which Lamis bows deeply and apologizes. If you muted the sound, it would look like a girl begging a bear not to eat her. But I'm grateful but I'm grateful for your help. It was our failure that exposed you all to danger, and I'm sorry. No, no I'm sorry for acting recklessly. The bear and girl bow to each other. It's surreal but heart heartwarming sight. 
We had casualties, but no one was gravely wounded enough that they'd never be able to get back on their feet. Doesn't casualties mean death? When you say casualties, doesn't that mean death? <laughs> DVD Wing says, I have to go. Goodbye, DVD Wing. Thanks for leaving us to suffer alone. Oh, man. <laughs> Seeing Director Bear's relief leaves an impression on me. Excellent work, everyone. Once we've rested up, we'll start on the way home. But it's a long way to the settlement. Don't let your guards down. Director Bear's words marked an end to this battle. They did it. Grace says, no, that's fatalities. But I thought casualties. I'm Googling this. Break time. We're Googling this. Break time. I have nine emails. What the fuck? It's been an hour. Um... Casualties, definition. Oh, shit. Gray Graves is right. Uh, a person killed or injured in war or an accident. I always thought casualty just definitely meant dead. I thought it would be wounded. Like, we have many wounded, but not so much so that they'll die. Anyway, let's unfortunately continue. Miles says, we have 94%, by the way. Miles, I don't want to know that. I don't want to read the fourth vending machine live read. Because we get to sell condoms in that. And I don't want that. I don't want... I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm... Fuck. Uh, crew, I love you, but I noticed you, like, torturing me. Um, That's super unfucking rad of you. Anyway, let's continue. Toxie, I can't tell if that's sarcasm or if you're generally displeased to see me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm. It's not that I'm displeased to see you, Digital. It's that I'm. I'm sorry. This is what you came into. I'm sorry. You could have come in on an art request stream. We could have been having a great time, um, reading art requests. Or doing art requests, we could have been we could have been playing a video game. We could have been we could have been doing anything else in the world. We could have been doing literally anything else in the world except reading vending machine smut. And here we are reading vending machine smut. Don't do this to me, dragon. Hey, Wazy, did mm -hmm. you know it's been eight months? And did you know the more we talk about this, mm -hmm. this is the first time I've heard anything about it. Mm. That I want to buy this trash manga. I assume it's a manga. It's not. It's a light novel, actually. It's it's a light novel and going to be an anime. It's a hundred percent. I thought it was it was going to be a manga as well, but it's not. It's a light novel. I thought we would blast through it real fast because I thought it would just be pictures on a screen, and I was just going to read you guys that. But unfortunately, it is a light novel, and it's taking us forever. Um, but also, thanks for resubscribing. Um, no, there is pictures. They're just mostly boobs. If you want boob pictures, that's uh, that's what you get. You get boob pictures. Um, Anyway, let's continue. Let's get through this. Nothing noteworthy happened after the battle. Everyone was exhausted that night and lacked the energy to cook. So my vending machine sales have probably reached the highest point of my career so far. Oh, right. Cola seems to be strangely popular now. I think the ones who were splashed by the cola are drinking it, not because they were interested in the taste, but also because it's the drink that saved their lives. Really? Really? I'm pretty sure if a fucking Mountain Dew saved my life, I wouldn't drink Mountain Dew for the rest of my life. If I had a traumatic experience involving Mountain Dew, I don't think that would be the first fucking... I don't think I would be all tits in on Mountain Dew. I'm just saying. Dr. Pepper, maybe. Uh -huh. Incidentally, I'm sealing away the candy that made the coal Those explode. God damn it. I some serious bangles. A real set of bingle bangles. Packing some Tobon Dobon bingle on Thank you for the bingle bangles, dragon. Should I mention I bought two more porn books? Thanks, Dragon. Thanks. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. You're right, buddy. You're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to change my vending machine form to sell them, so I can't stock anything else. One. Sorry, I burped directly in your guys' face. One night passes in the forest, and we arrive safe and sound at the settlement a little after noon the next day. Relieved at the thought of finally being able to rest our worn-out bodies. What greets us is a settlement with smoke rising all over the place. Wait, wait, wait. 
part of the wall, which was just wood pieces, which was just pieces of wood with nails in them, has collapsed. The wooden gate is trash too. Where are Karos and Gorth, the gatekeepers? Please be safe. What, what is this? I'm sorry to ask this of all you while you're exhausted, but it looks like we'll have to give it one final push. The majority of the team, leaving the hunters in the cart who hadn't yet recovered, run towards the settlement. I hate not being able to move on my own. I would f follow right along in their heels, burst into the settlement, and go straight to the inn to see if the mistress, Munami, and my regular customers were safe. But I can't move unaided. I can't walk, much less run. Good thing he reminds us he's a vending machine all the time. A everyone Monami, the mistress. Lamis's voice snaps me out of it. She sounded like she's about to cry. What good will being depressed do? Lamis has known them for far longer than I have. And there is something I can do for the girl who called me a friend. Get in Sir Coins. What boxo? Thank you. Please come in. Sir Coins. I've been thinking about it for a long time, about whether communication is possible. I can only say a, cert a few certain phrases, but I thought about whether I could put them together and have a conversation. Here are the only things I could say. Don't worry, he's going to remind us of the only things he could say again. Welcome. Thank you. Please come again. Get one free with a winner. Too bad. You're a winner. And insert coins. I can't pick out specific words I want to say from phrases, but I wondered if I could start one of the phrases that say the next one over the first to say something different. I put sentences together in my mind over and over, staying up late at night, repeating my pro repeating the process while nobody was around. Staying up late at night, you're a vending machine. You don't even need to sleep, you dumb motherfucker. Also, welcome, Bacon. What's going on? Welcome to hell. I learned how to cancel words and sounds by interrupting them, and that's how to change the speed of my pronunciation. The first time all I did all I uh, all I did to start with say was get one free with a winner, stopping after the get and saying insert coins, but delaying everything after the in. The second time I spliced more phrases together and say, You please come in. I wonder if she understands what I mean. You're right. You're right. Nothing will happen if I don't do anything. Let's go, Boxo. Well, come. The fragmented speech is unsatisfying, but I'll just have to be happy I can uh, converse with her at all. One day, I'll see if I can take pieces out of the middle phrases. I might be able to put a single letters and sounds together. I'll just have to train every day. Here's this training arc, everybody. This is this is his vending machine training arc. Digital says, they put a Masha chief in the soda. He made me a vending machine, uh, but it's hard as human. Bingle bangle. Thank you. Thank you, Dorito Dragon says, the sensual demon and sinful types are Japanese hentai I bought. Thanks. 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 I really wanted to know, Dorito Dragon. I was at the fucking edge of my seat. I couldn't. I couldn't wait for you to tell me which which hentai's you bought. Man, so excited! I don't want this to be my legacy crew. I don't want. I don't want the vending machine smut to be my fucking legacy. <sighs> when we enter the settlement together, we see that the tents and the few buildings near them have been brutally destroyed. Something must have attacked. I lower my gaze and see a giant groove in the ground. It. It has, it was though a huge rope or something was dragged along the ground. I take a closer look at the ruined buildings. I see they have traces of something squeezing them from the outside in. In other words, the culprits must be. The inn? What happened to the inn? Lamis runs with such speed that no one would believe she's carrying a vending machine on her back. I understand how she feels, but it's possible that whatever did this is still there. I can't put words together to warn her about that. With the way I'm doing it, I need to memorize intelligent phrase, intelligible phrases beforehand. It's too difficult to come up with something on the fly in the situation. If I can't warn her, then I'll just have to keep an eye on her and said, 90% of the tents are wrecked. We don't see a single soul on the path to the inn, which concerns me. If people were killed, their corpses would be lying about, but those would be absent. 
What's going on? If everyone evacuated, that would be best. Th there it is. But what? This is awful. Mistress Monami. Lamis is giving a grievous cry, looks at the inn. It's almost entirely collapsed. The wooden structure, once two stories tall, is unrecognizable. The roof is blown off, and a section between the two floors is crushed, twisted inward. The door is warped as well, and doesn't serve the function of a door anymore. The fact the rest of the place hasn't collapsed is strange. It looks like any impact could send the whole thing toppling down. At this rate, Lamis might dive right in. I have to do something to calm her down. My only choice is to combine the right words for this situation. Answer me, both of you! Is she about to run inside? Crap, I need to do something. Then I say the first words that um, flash in my mind. You're too bad. But Boxo, that, that's mean. Oh, the lady is quite cross with me. But it looks like that got her to calm down a bit. She takes a few deep breaths. Sorry, Boxo. The building might collapse if I touch it. But they're not answering. There's still a chance they've evacuated somewhere. Welcome. I can only answer her with yes or no, the way I have been. Thankfully, Lamis is back to her usual self. I just got a quick glance at the inn, but I didn't no see any traces of blood inside it or nearby. Sure, my vision could have been clouded by my desire for their safety, but I decided to remain optimistic. Dun, dun, dun! And that's it. That's where we'll put this unless we get a fourth vending machine read. We're halfway through the book, crew. We did it. I've survived almost... Half of the vending machine smut. I've done it. I've done it. Um, next coming up, if we get this fourth one, we will be reading Defense, Reconstruction Work, Gold and Silver Coins, and Vending Machine for Adults. And possibly even the public baths, depending on how terrible things go. Depending depending on how shit everything turns out. Um, yeah. Unfortunately. That's my life, and that's my life as as somebody who's reading. Report of a vending machine, and now I wander the dungeon. And again, my daily plea: Hello, Crunchyroll. I know you're out there. I know you're out there, and you're listening to me right now, Crunchyroll. Cast me in this anime. Cast me in the English dub of this anime. You know you want to. You know you want this sweet awesome voice in the middle of your fucking thing you know you want it and i know i want it i just want to ruin your anime from the inside out and that's not so bad that's not that's not the worst that could ever happen anyway time to go raid somebody everybody i hope you enjoyed more reading um i'll put this up on the vod channel uh soon enough um so that we can we can do that um we're gonna go raid vibe um, we need something wholesome. So we're going to go watch Vibe and see what he's up to today. Um, but yeah, just let it be known. If we do get the next one, we unfortunately have to read the condom one. So I just want you to know that your actions have consequences. I want everybody to know that. Thank you for fucking chilling out with me. I love and appreciate you all. Um, until next time, don't forget to kick names and take ass and stay away from fucking vending machines. Um, Yeah. Um, thank you everybody for the Binkle Bangles. Uh, thank you, Dorito Dragon, um, uh, um, Ryura, Draconi Cat, uh, fucking Mysterious Phoenix, um, Pinecone, fucking British Trash Panda, Kakashi Lover. Thank you guys all for, for fucking hanging out. Welcome to the crew, everybody. Um, yeah, let's go get vibe. Uh, love and appreciate you. Um, until next time, y'all can get fucked. Y'all can get fucked. I'll be back. Um, uh, tonight, actually, quickly before I go, um, tonight, uh, I'm with Banani. We're going to be playing Monster Road Trip, uh, tonight with Banani. And then, um, tomorrow I'll be, uh, doing our quest with Froggy. So, um, there we go. Um, okay. Anyway, bye. Get out of my house. Bye. Do, do, do. Send in the moth. If you're still listening to this, what are you doing? It's me. Da 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 da. Hey, you're still listening to me as I talk. Goodbye. I appreciate you.